All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a special Monday night edition. Since Raw wants to cancel on us due to Mother Nature being on her period and making it rain on us. Um, so, yeah, it is I, Shaheen. Uh, IWC hates me right now, so Boxman, maybe you can be the favorite. Uh, oh, man, I'm gonna, all right, I'll be the baby face tonight. That's fine. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm, I'm usually the heel anyway. Yeah, usually. I, I don't know if I'm really the baby face in this situation, but whatever. We'll 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 roll with that. <laughs> there you go, man. How, how do you feel, man? How are you feeling? Boxman tuned out on me. I guess he's not feeling too well. Not, not too well Look at that. He's back. There he's, you go. I hear him. All right. We thought we warmed it up. I guess we didn't. All right. Go ahead with that. We'll, 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 please ask again, Shaheen. I said, how are you doing tonight, man? I'm doing good. How about you? I am doing fantastic, man. I am stuck in a snowstorm, so I'm great. Nice. We're having, like, nice warm weather. I wish I could press that button that you're a dick button. But unfortunately, you have that. Damn right I do, and I ain't hitting it. There you go. I would hit it again right now. No. I'll hit that one. <laughs> You're a dick. Uh, we, we, only, we only got the warm weather for another couple of days, and then it's going to get nice and chilly. No, oh, dude, man. Yeah. Chilly as fuck. It's snowing right now, man. Ah. Yep. Yep, yep. Y'all got, like, blizzards and shit. Your internet could go out any time. Power could just fail. Yeah. Any second now could happen. But, uh, yeah, we're here. We usually do it on Tuesday nights at 8 o'clock. But uh, since, yeah, like we said, WWE Monday night, no more tonight. So we're getting Royal Rumble again. And I was there last night, and you watched it. So why the fuck would we watch it again? So we figured we'd do the show tonight. Why not, right? Why not? That's what we're here for. Indeed. And ladies and gentlemen, I have to apologize in advance because my voice is kind of raspy right now. And that's simply due to the fact that I was at Royal Rumble and I was screaming my ass off. So, yeah. My apology. All right, Gene. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Apology accepted. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Man, Thank you. Anyway, uh, what do you want to talk about? You want to talk about the obvious? Uh, get the elephant in the room? Yeah, let's just do it. Fuck it. All this right. Talk, all this bullshit, and let's get right into the wrestling. Motherfuck the bullshit. Yeah. Royal Rumble. Motherfucker. 2015 Royal Rumble. Predictable. We all knew it was going to happen. I don't think we wanted it to happen, but it did. Yeah. Well, you knew it was going to happen. I, I know, but I, I really... And I, I, I think I'm with a, a few more people than just me. I really thought maybe they were going to realize, call the audible, be like, you know, Reigns just isn't ready. You know, maybe he needs a little more time. Maybe we need to do a little more experimenting with him. No, 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 no. They well, that's, that's honestly, that's, that's the main problem with the WWE, man. That's why... You know, that's why the fans were, were pissed off on, you know, in, in Philly. That's why. Because it's like, all right, this happened last year, correct? Mm-hmm. All right. So why is it happening again? Why are we having an awkward presentation of a fucking disaster? I wish I could give you an answer. Yeah. Because I have no clue. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know, and I didn't even. I wouldn't even have cared if Daniel Bryan didn't have to win. I was fine with what's his name with uh, Roman Reigns winning, but Bryan was out so early. They should have. Yeah. I mean, let him get the fight in, make the guy look a little bit strong. I mean, a year ago this guy was like the most over guy. He comes back and he's still over huge. And yeah, you know, the shit falls from the ceiling. Dude, honestly, you know, if 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 they wanted to put Roman Reigns over, 
they had a way to do it, and it's very simple. Keep Daniel Bryan in the, in the last four, maybe in the last three, okay? Have Bray Wyatt throw Daniel Bryan out, get the heat. That's good for him, right? Yeah. Daniel Bryan is out. Roman Reigns gets Bray Wyatt out, and he probably won't get booed as much. So, Or if he does get booed, people are just going to automatically – you know, kind of uh, tie that in with with Bray Wyatt. You know, he would catch most of the heat. So, yeah, yeah, it's very simple stuff. I just I don't get it, man. I mean, we're fucking wrestling fans, dude. I don't work for the WWE. How can we come up with all this shit? And they they they, they have these twenty six writers that you know that get paid all this money to to write all this you know great enter- sports entertainment. Were you sports entertained? Yeah. Like, come on, dude. I mean. Uh-huh. Don't get me wrong, the whole show was great. Even even most of the rumble was fine. It's just like some of the booking towards the end, it's like, dude, what the fuck? You know, pe- and, hey, man, you know, pe- people don't understand. Let's, let's you know, I, I saw a lot of people kind of shitting on my city, so, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand up for that, of course, man. You know, hey, a lot of people paid a lot of money, man, a lot of money. Shitty seats were like, you know, $200, buck fifty. You know, so don't don't think people paid twenty bucks and they came in like hooligans. Like, no, pe- people paid good money. The people in the front row, I'm, I'm sure they paid you know thousands. Hey, they have a right to voice their opinion. I'm not saying it, it was it was okay to, you know, kind of, uh, you know, get involved with with the, with the wrestlers when they were exiting the the fucking Wells Fargo Center and you know set up seats in front of their car and and harass them. We'll get into all that shit later, but. Hey man, if if people want to boo, they have the right to boo. And when 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 they when they do this type of shit, they honestly deserve to get booed. And Roman Reigns, I honestly I feel bad for the guy for for, for getting all this heat, but he's he's like a sacrificial lamb, you know. This is like a this is almost like a protest, man. It's almost like you know people have had enough. Every time they give them an, another chance, like all right, man, they're they're gonna do they're gonna do the right thing now. You know, WrestleMania 30, they they messed it up with Daniel Bryan. Then they fixed it. Maybe they learned a lesson. You know, Royal Rumble, it's in Philly. They they know the Philly crowd. Money in the Bank was in Philly. You guys know what the crowd is like. So why even book it like this? I just, it, it doesn't make sense. And honestly, like, they have to be doing it on purpose, man. Like, they just, they, they have to be wanting to piss people off. Is, is, this, is this what they want? Like, I just, I don't get it. it you know, that's... I- Roman Reigns sells a lot of T-shirts. Does he though? Does he really? I don't know. There's probably tons of little girls buying T-shirts and Roman Reigns buddy dolls and Roman Reigns wallets and whatever else is Roman Reigns out there. Let's see what what does Roman Reigns have. Let's you want you want to find out. Do you have the ski mask merchandise? That's that's a top seller right there. Give the guy some ski masks to sell. It's oh hell yeah! Shit. Well, I mean, once they rob a store with it, you know, that's 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 it, dude. There you go. What is it? Shop Zone or let's see, WWE Shop. Dot Roman Reigns. You got a you got a new T-shirt out. I saw it last night, but oh, I'm sure, I'm sure he does. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here Roman Reigns. Roman, Rup, there we go. He's got a, he's got a. Oh, come on, internet. Come on, the internet. It's working. It's getting there. Why is your internet fucked up, man? I'm I'm in the blizzard. It's going. There. What's go. going? Okay, my internet just took a second. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Hounds of Justice women's tank top. You know those are probably sold out. They're $7.99. D- marked down from $19.99. Let's see. He's got a T-shirt. Oh, the Shield cardboard cutout standee package. Oh, yeah. Yours for, let's see. What is that? $89.99. Yeah, I think it's all three. It is. It's all three of them. You can get them separately for thirty four ninety nine. I guess. 
I mean, that, uh, you know, since you made mention of uh, little girls and, and, and kids, let me just go ahead and say this, man. There were not that many kids in attendance last last night, and that, which which was honestly a surprise to me because, you know, usually like WWE events, they have a lot of kids. But, dude, let, I mean, at least my section, there wasn't that many kids in there. Like I said, I only saw about two or three kids. Yeah. Yeah, and then and then yeah, but he that's all he's got, and 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 and, and a T-shirt. It's all the same T-shirts. That's it. Yeah. So t please, WWE, stop lying to us. You know your your demographic is is not mostly kids and one third females, and your app hasn't been downloaded fifty million times. It's been downloaded five. He might be selling a lot of these standees because his has five stars. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Five stars. All right. Do you have five stars? I don't have five stars. I don't know. I don't, have, I don't even know what five stars means. In fact, you know what you can, you guys can do. Give us some stars. Go on iTunes right now. iTunes. Go on iTunes. T H T Wrestling Podcast. Go ahead and click those stars. Leave a review. Do something, yeah. folks. Yeah, please. Tell us. That, that way, that way we can be. Uh, we can we can be the Star Brothers. Like I, I can be Stardust. That 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 leaves me as gold dust. Actually, I don't I don't, don't want to be stardust. Why the fuck would I want to be a stardust? Well, that I am, guy. Th that that would make more sense because I you know like I said I'm 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 the old guy. I guess you can you can be gold dust. Would you uh, want to be gold dust though? Honestly, dude. not really. Exactly. I mean, I I I can I be like 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 maybe Dean Ambrose maybe I don't know. That's fine. Honestly, they should have just let him have the the rumble last night too. For a minute there, I kind of thought maybe they were going to go that way. You he, know? he gets a huge pop, man. Just let the guy get over. Fuck. They had a chance. They had a chance to go that why, way, and I thought, why? Is, why does it have to be a fucking dictatorship, man? Like, why do they have to? Why do they have to choose the guy? You know, the consumers pay. Why can't they choose? And, like, honestly, I don't really give a shit either way, man. But it's, it makes sense to me why people get pissed, you know? Well, if people would stop buying cardboard cutouts of Roman Reigns... Oh, there you go. That maybe, just maybe, <laughs> they would listen. Maybe. Folks, if, if you want Roman Reigns the fuck out of here, stop buying the, the cardboard cutouts of, of Roman Reigns and stop giving them to your kids for Christmas. There you Who go. the fuck is buying You're these goddamn cardboard cutouts? Who? I don't know. Ah, shit. Maybe, uh, I don't know. Probably The Rock. Pro oh, Jesus. That's just mean. Oh, helping his cousin out. Buying all of them up. Just buying them by the yeah. dozen. There you go. Buying yeah. them by the fucking thousands. Buying them by the truckload. Just selling them on the street. Using them for bonfires and shit. There you go. Did you see the, did you see the video? Like the aftermath? To Royal Rumble. Yeah, The Rock looked irritated. <laughs> Do you think so? Like I, I, th I thought he kept this cool. I thought but, he was uh, in the ring when he was holding up his hand. I thought in my mind, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, The Rock is thinking this motherfucker should spear me right now. Yeah. You know, The Rock was thinking it. I know he was thinking it. I would yeah. hope he was thinking it. That's, I mean, that's how, that's what we're, oh, shit, man. Do you think, do you think they would do that on, on the spot, like, in, in the Attitude Era, if they got that type of reaction? I mean, this, the smart thing to do with Reigns, I mean, let's, let's face it, is, is to turn him heel now. That's the only fucking option they have now. I mean, they had potential with the guy to be a face, and they fucking, they've ruined it. <laughs> like, literally, the guy's ruined right now. Oh, yeah. He, he, he literally should have healed up on the crowd last night. Turned around, speared the rock, and that might have gotten a little more of a. I mean, it, it might not have made people happy, but it might not have had people leave with such a bad taste in their mouth. I could be wrong. I don't know. Honestly, I was hoping to. I was hoping it was going to happen, but I I kind of knew it wasn't going to happen. But do I, but yeah, I I I think back about uh, probably 10, 15, 10, 12 years ago. Yeah, they probably would have made. They, they, yeah. They probably would have called that on the fly. Yeah, that would that would have been awesome. Yeah, see that. See that's that's a way to go out with a bang. That would have. That would have been a way to go out with a bang, and you could have gone so many places from that. 
And dude, they had, I mean, this honestly, this had the potential to be like one of the best rumbles in years. Mm-hmm. You know, it had so many people, and they literally, they ruined every single one of them. Every single one they ruined. Look at Ziggler. How did they eliminate, eliminate this guy? Kane and fucking Big Show? Like, oh. come on, dude. I, I know. I mean, I wouldn't say they ruined every single moment. Let's face it, the first 10 people that came out were good. No, no, no. I'm talking about the, the like the, the important ones, not fucking Stardust and oh, Tyson King. Right. I'm, I'm talking about like Ziggler, Daniel Bryan, uh, Ambrose was fine. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm talking about mainly those two guys. You know, even, even Luke Harper, I think he should have stayed longer. You know, fucking... Bubba Ray, why was he eliminated in three seconds? Why was fucking... I mean, Boogeyman, I understand. He's older. They want to get him out of there as soon as possible. You know, but Bubba Ray, I mean, dude, he was wrestling in TNA. He's fine. Yeah. I mean, he at he's least he got... Royal Royal Rumble, Rumble, dude. He's not He's not doing a, a hundred table spots. It's a fucking battle royal. Yeah. I can mm-hmm. punch for ten minutes. It's fine. I did think it was funny that, that Bully Ray just kind of Bubba Ray just kind of turned our truth into Devon real quick. Yeah, first first Black Beauty saw I guess. Uh, and he, no. <laughs> Bubba, he was right in TNA. Any I could I could have had anyone be you. It's fucked up. That that was fucked up. Now, do you think do you think Devon declined the offer, or do you think they just never made an offer? I have. No. I, I think they just never made an offer. Probably not. I think they wanted to keep as 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 little ECW as they could in that ring. Yeah, they they knew the chance were gonna break up, but yeah, I guess they. But why though? I mean, they own ECW, so. I, you know, it's just that you know that 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 bingo hall company. Yeah, a bingo hall company right around the corner from this area from this arena that. You know, gave us so many fucking talented guys that made us, you know, millions and millions of dollars. Technically, but it makes miracle, man. If, you know, first guy, first time, ECW, Rey Mysterio, ECW. All these guys, Rob Van Dam, ECW. Steve Austin. ECW, there you go. I, seriously, that's what, I mean, no one knew he could talk until ECW. I even fuck that Sandman. I mean, he was he wasn't never big in, in, in WWE, but he certainly influenced the the Steve Austin character. Without ECW, he definitely wouldn't be a Stone Cold. Probably not. Nick Foley. I mean, you know, he was yeah. of course he was WCW, but you know he wasn't as as, as twisted, and he, he never really grew into himself in, in in WCW. But you know, ECW, hey, some some of the best promos. Yeah, they just let him go out there and do what he had to do, man. There you go. That's it. That's what. That's what. That's that's what they do. And I told him to go out there and shoot the shit. You. Yep. It's shit. That's it, man. So, well, I guess we can get to the first match. What was the first match that came out? They started off with the tag team match. It was uh, New Age Outlaws versus the Ascension. Well, let's go into the the pre-show first. Oh, okay. See, I didn't see the pre-show, but you were there live, so you saw it live. Uh, so go awesome. for it. Talk to pre-show me. Pre-show was amazing. It was amazing. Really? Once again, thank you, Philly. Thank you for another great chant. New Day sucks as a new chant. Thank you. <laughs> well, they are going to Dude, I mean, the, honestly, man, I mean, I'm not, again, I, 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 you know, I'm not just saying this because this was in Philly. I pretty much pick up my city every, every, show as far as like the audience mm-hmm. but dude this is going to be a chain reaction I don't give a fuck what anybody says man what what Philly did last night a lot of people may take it as disrespect to me their voice and their opinion they paid they paid good money I'm not saying it's okay to go in the arena and in, in the fucking parking lot and harass the wrestlers that's not cool but if you're in the arena and that three hours is still there hey man you can boo as much as you want no problem right would you agree with that I mean is is, is that are we just living in a pussified society where basically if you boo people, if you boo the fucking face, like you're a dickhead? Is that? Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous, dude. I got. I mean, we'll get into the whole video that I made, uh, you know, later on. But that's. I got so many comments saying like, yo, you know, like booing the fucking face. Like, dude, I can boo who I want. What do you mean? You didn't pay for my 
fucking take a dickhead. Like, I don't, I don't have to explain, you know, how I felt or anybody else shouldn't explain. They paid for their tickets. They, they do what they want. They don't need to explain it to you. Drunken Shaheen yelling at people. There you go, man. Welcome. Jeez. Shaheen, Shaheen. Mean Shaheen. I mean, uh, you know. I mean, am, 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 I, am, I not, am I not right, though, honestly? I mean, if, if you pay good money for a ticket, I mean, you should be able to boo whoever you want. I agree, Shaheen. Why is that a problem? Why? I, I don't get it. Ooh. I agree. Yeah. yeah, I just, I don't get it. I agree. Don't get it. But, uh, dude, there were so many people dressed as Bray Wyatt. There were so many people what? So many people dressed as Bray Wyatt. Really? A lot. It's kind of weird. Actually, there was a <laughs> there was a group of people that were dressed as the Spirit Squad. <laughs> that was awesome. I thought that was hilarious. That is fucking awesome. I tried to get the New, new Day chant going, and of course, uh, that got shut down by the New Day sucks chant real fast. <laughs> Why would you try to get a New Day chant? Just, just to be a dickhead, just to be sarcastic. New Day? <laughs> and you got New Day sucks. Yeah, there you go, man. Hell yeah, that's awesome. So the new chant is like it's it's I think it's it's kind of like an awkward rhythm to it, but I think it's something like like new day sucks and there's like an awkward pause in the middle, you know. That's what they were doing last night. And it kind of got over. They were doing it the whole time. Nice. You can also do it really quick. New day sucks. New day sucks. New day sucks. People, I think they'll run out of breath. Well, you know what? People get some fucking cardio. There you go. Yeah, like I do fucking cardio. Come on. <laughs> yeah, who knows, man? Yeah. So. No. All right. So that. What, uh, keep going. What else? The uh, what else about the pre-show, Shaheen? Well, uh, before I go ahead and say this, man, I mean, Wells Fargo Center, dude. Good place. Good shit, man. Uh, we had a nice cookout. I believe. I don't know if some of the listeners may have may have joined us. There was a couple people that showed up. From the Facebook page, which you can join, facebook.com slash group slash THD podcast. We had a nice barbecue. We had a bunch of beers. We had some drinks. We had some smoke in the air. It was a good time. And, uh, yeah, by the time we went in there, New Day against, uh, who the hell did they? Yeah, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd. Yes. Which uh, Tyson Kidd and Cesaro, dude, they were over. I mean, and they actually gave him the win, which was a surprise. So this this actually kind of led me to believe, like, all right, well, they know what kind of crowd they're dealing with, so so good good choice putting you know Cesaro over in Philly, good one. So then that gave me hope. I was like, all right, well, they might actually do something exciting in, in the Rumble instead of giving it to uh, uh, Roman Reigns. But no, nope, I was wrong. No, nope. yep. absolutely wrong. But but. But they did good. They gave good stuff. Yeah, you, you froze for a second. Oh, I said they, they, they gave you hope, and they gave you hope early. That's a good thing to do. Yeah, and then they uh, completely stabbed me in the back, you know. <laughs> well, They befriended me, and then they stabbed me. That's it, man. That's it. That's how they do it. You dicks. Fucking heal it's me. It's good form. You're, you're smart. You befriended me, and then you stabbed me. Once you used me and took me my money, and, you know, kind of stabbed me in the back. Yeah. By the way, the... Uh, what? Nothing. I didn't say a word. Go ahead. What? 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 You dick! What? <laughs> By the way, I was gonna show. I was gonna show the camera this this beautiful John Cena cup that they forced me to buy if I wanted to buy a drink. It cost me twelve dollars. There's your man. There you go. That John Cena sucks. Did, did that come off on on camera? Could you hear it? Oh, loudly! As soon as he hit oh, the, yeah. as soon as he hit the ramp, dude. Did you see his face? Oh, he was he did was it on. Oh my! He looked like he was about to cry. 
I know, but he, uh, but he, but he looked like he was, he looked like he was fighting to keep it, to keep it. Um, what, what am I, what am I trying to say here? Like he was just, you know, trying to keep it cool. Like it was, like it wasn't yeah. to him. Oh, it was getting to him, man. It, and it was, it was so funny because I actually, I watched his entrance um, earlier this this afternoon, and it, it was so funny when he came out, man. He looked like, honestly, he looked like he was about to cry. And then he fucking, his corny ass takes this little itty bitty towel that he has that he sells on the WWE fucking shop zone and he holds it up very slow to show that, you know, he's never going to give up and he's, he's, he's your hero. They should actually call him John Hero. Just change his name. There you go. I like, you know what? Even that little bit of a change, I'd be fine with it. I, that, that would be good. It should Some, be John Hero as a heel. Something like that, I'd be fine with it. Not a problem. Good. Just Good. make him put on some fucking wrestling attire, man. Tell him to stop wearing jean shorts and fucking Jordans to the ring. Uh, that'll that'll make me much happier. Yeah, just something. Anything, I don't care. Whatever. Yeah, yeah just something different. But yeah, I, I, just, I, just, I just wanted to see if the John Cena sucks chance... Uh, came across well on, on, on the television. Damn sure it did. It came across loud and clear. Yeah. Remember a couple weeks ago when I told you, uh, I guess that group that wanted Roman Reigns booed out of the arena mm -hmm. um, contacted me uh, on, on Twitter and, and asked us to plug them? That actually, that was, that was like a big thing, I guess, because everybody kind of knew about it. And uh, fucking... Uh, like I guess you saw it. Everybody fucking booed him, which I actually I felt bad for him afterwards, man. I mean I booed the fuck out of him myself, but <laughs> dude, after, afterwards once I saw it, I was like, oh man, that was like a special moment for him. We just like completely ruined that for this guy. But uh, hey man, blame WWE. You know they they did it to him, not us. They did it to him. Oh, that was funny. And I saw the the video the Rock posted right after it. Well, he thanked the Philly fans, even though they, they booed the hell out of his boy. That was nice of him. Yeah. He's a good man, that rock, if I must say so myself. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's always do. always he's down to earth, you know? Yeah, he seems like it. Yeah, they, they, I mean, to say the least, they booed the hell out of that man. I actually, I, I for a second, dude, I expected them to, to boo The Rock. I thought that actually might happen. Well, they basically did. Oh, I mean, he got, he, no, he got a big pop. No, they, they, they gave him a pop, and then as soon as he got out the ring, the boos came right back. Huh. I mean, dude, he got showered in boos. All I heard was boos. Like, it was fucking crazy. It was a sea of booze. I mean, it was crazy. Yeah. I think that was probably, like, the, the most booze I ever heard a, a, a face get in my life. More oh. than Batista last. Oh, yeah. I mean, Batista kind of deserved them. But, I mean, I don't, not really. You're right. He didn't. But I don't know. Yeah, that was – it. trust me, dude. It came off on TV just as loud. I, I bet it was way louder in there, but it came off on TV very loud. I'll tell you, uh, uh, they they definitely didn't. Uh, I don't think you guys heard the the we want refunds. Did you hear that? Yeah, oh, I had on headphones. I could hear it. It wasn't very loud, but yeah, you could hear it. Yeah, I'm sh I'm sure they 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 turned that down, man, because it was definitely loud in the arena. That's one thing I like went on the network to check because I knew they were gonna fucking mess with the audio. Oh, I'm sure they. Yeah, that's that. They they've got a few seconds to do that, so I'm sure they did. Yeah, but you caught him for a minute. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely yeah. caught him. Yeah, I guess I guess we'll get into the main event later on, but uh that dude that was it was it was a it was a special show to say the least. Maybe in a good way, maybe in a bad way. I'm I'm still not sure, but it was uh something different. There you go. That's probably the best way to describe it. It was just uh, it honestly was it was like kind of surreal like like just watching like pretty much everybody that I, that I thought was gonna win, because I didn't, I I don't know, man. I didn't think they were gonna give it to Rain because the Reigns because it was so obvious. But I guess you know you it's WWE, man. You get John Cena and, and all these fucking guys. So hey, 
There we go. And he really reminds me of John Cena now, man. Now, now that people compare him to him, he really reminds me of John Cena now, which is not good for me. Because I actually really liked Reigns before, and I still do. I don't, I don't, I don't hate the guy at all. I just don't think he's ready. But I can see myself definitely disliking this guy in the next couple of years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 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 the same formula as John Cena. You know, comes out there. Fucking every guy gets fed to him. I mean, did you see him when he came out in the Rumble, dude? Everybody just ran up to him, and he just, like, fucking Samoan dropped five people, speared three people. Like, you know, it was just, like, the whole roster just gets fed to these guys. Which is fine, but I just, I don't think he's ready yet. I don't know. Like, do that with somebody like Brock. It's, it's, I don't, I don't know. I'm fine with that. But Reigns, they've kind of turned him into, like, a pussy now. Coming out with the saccharine suck attached and all this bullshit, man. I mean, Brock comes out, you know, come on, baby, if you want to come and get it, baby. He doesn't give a shit, man. That, that guy's a badass. He doesn't give a fuck. Look at Roman Reigns. This guy's doing fucking mimicking cartoons and all this stuff. I, uh, this is the guy? Really? There you go. Wagger? <laughs> Oh, Jack Swagger, hi. Fuck, Jack Swagger got got a longer time in the fucking Rumble than than Dolph Ziggler. Dude, I was hoping, man. I was I I I had Jack Swagger in the in the in your <coughs> in the uh, in your head pool. That's sad. Yeah, I know. I wonder who I had. I don't. I don't even remember. It was horrible, but yeah, it was uh interesting <clears throat> to say the least. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, first match, dude. First uh, match, get to me. Outlaws versus the Ascension. Yeah, I thought this was gonna be a long feud. I'm not sure if uh, this is gonna be ongoing or this was it. Yeah, I don't know either. I read it was supposed to be longer, but um, hey. I don't really know, but we uh, we got something there. <laughs> yeah, but uh, they definitely remind me of the Eliminators, man. I don't care what anybody says. They remind me of the Eliminators way more than, than you know, like Demolition and Powers of Pain and all that. Yeah, I guess a little bit. I, I just <clears throat> I don't know. They're just so bad. But, uh, yeah, well, I don't know. Man. They are pretty bad. Yeah. Oh, they're fucking they're horrible. They're fucking horrible. Good theme, though. They're, they have a badass theme. Even the entrance is, is good, and then you see these guys, and they're just, like, terrible. You know? Exactly, yeah. So. I don't know, man. That's what we get, the Ascension. Meanwhile, the crowd... So, like this match because it, it was an all right match. I mean, it was nothing spectacular, or nothing really terrible. It was just whatever. No, I mean, and and the the crowd was eating it up the whole way through. I mean, the crowd was loving everything DX was doing. They just absolutely loved. Yes. Yeah. Good for them. You know. Yeah, I I hope they stick around for a couple months. I would. It wouldn't surprise me if they stick around till uh, WrestleMania because. Actually, they came around Royal Roma last year, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah. Yeah, 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 right around then. Yeah, they came in the Rumble. Mm -hmm. You're so, right. Calm down. I'm You're right. Hey, man, I'm as calm as you can get, man. I'm on like zero hours of sleep. Take it easy, Shaheen. Back off, my man. Hey, man, I'm in, I'm in Pennsylvania. You're in Texas. I'm as... Far as I can back off. All right, you're right. You're right. I'll calm down. I'll chill out. I'll chill out. I'm sorry. Yeah, go sorry, out, man. I'll chill, chill out. Fuck out. Hold on. I gotta. I got. I got some cores light here. Look at bear yeah, for the There you go. Still yeah, Steve Austin. I finished my cores light. Meanwhile, speaking to Steve, I I heard his uh. Interview from a couple weeks ago with Paul Heyman. Damn good interview. Is it? Gotta check it out. Yeah, he doesn't uh, 
he, he kind of gets into what Paul's doing now instead of you know everything we've all heard about how Paul got it. He gets a little bit into what Paul what you know how he started, but he breezes through that shit and kind of gets into you know what Paul's mindset is right now and stuff like that, which was good. I, I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta check it out, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it was a it was a good one. So I I I I I checked it out the other day, but um, I don't know. But uh, anyway, back to this match. Uh, yeah, I, I thought. I mean, no matter how the match was, the crowd was was liking it. They were, if, at least from where I was sitting, it sounded like they were feeding into all the you know Road Dog and Billy Gunn and New Age Outlaw stuff. So hey, whatever, good for them. And um, I was a little shocked the Ascension won, but they're trying to put these guys over, so I get it. Doug Manson going to get Daniel Bryan fired. Yeah, that's all right. Honestly, man, that by no means was that my intention. I didn't, I, you know, I mean, we'll get into all that later, but that was definitely not my intention. Right now, if we get blamed for firing, for getting Daniel Bryan fired, <laughs> I am oh, going. Yeah. I will be in shock, and we will, we will, we will handle it after that. But. uh that would that that damn that would be awesome, dude. <laughs> I just <laughs> no 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 no. I certainly don't don't wish that on on, on Brian. They said you. That's kind of it's kinda, it was like a chain reaction, you know. No, it'd be all. They said you were pissed off. You know what? You're fired. <laughs> Honestly, man, it, it might it might even <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me, man. They're so fucking weird. They just. Oh man, dude, we would be WWE logic. Any anything makes sense. That would get us some fucking listeners, man. <laughs> I don't, I don't want listeners off of Daniel Bryan getting fired, man. That's not right. That's, um, it would be the most hated. Uh, would, we'd be the most hated podcast in America <laughs> and every other country. These are the fucking guys that got Daniel Bryan fired. Yeah, that's oh, us, man. Guys. I know you're Good not going. I, I know you won't do the interview with us. We won't even ask. <laughs> I'm gonna go on YouTube and I'm gonna dislike his fucking his video. That's I'm fine. Write a comment. <laughs> Fuck you. Have you gotten any comments on there? Yeah, dude. There's a bunch of people fucking making right. it up, and a bunch of people catching me. Either way, I'll check it out later. I'll I'll I'll, I'll take a peek at it later. Yeah. People were really going in on the comments on the dirt sheets, like thousands and thousands and thousands. Well, like Jesus, man. Yeah, like I said, on like, like I told you, um, uh, Mike Bessler. By the way, thanks, Mike Bessler, um, of Wrestling yeah, Inc. Shout out to Mike Bessler on uh, WrestlingInc.com. Yeah, yeah, definitely appreciate that, man. Um, yeah, I saw he had to write a little, "Hey, people, show some respect." <laughs> kind of a little, little uh, disclaimer there on on the page. Yeah. Well, a lot of people actually weren't even going at me. A lot of people were going at each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the uh, it was the other people going at each other. So uh, I don't know. It's it's it's. Uh, oh, someone going at me, right? So, but you know, it is it is what it is, man. I think, you know, more than likely, it's some I didn't, probably some thirty some year old guy screaming at some nine year old and doesn't even realize it. Exactly. That <laughs> tends to be the case. <laughs> That's usually the case. Hmm. But uh, yeah, man. Uh, yeah. So shout out to Mike Bessler on uh, WrestlingInc.com, Aaron Riff from NoDQ.com. Shout out to the Wrestling Soup guys. They uh, they retweeted it. They put it on their on their fucking uh, website and shit. And nice. we'll also put it up. WrestleZone, 411 Mania. I don't know, man. Every dirt sheet you can probably think of it has the video up now. So. Yeah, 4-1 Mania had it, and no DQ, like you said. Yeah, I think you got them all. Yes, there you go, man. Uh, what's the name? Lordsofpain.net or whatever. Oh, yeah. I didn't they got it. I, it'll probably be in a couple more places by tomorrow. So whoever posts it, we appreciate it, guys. We're, uh, we're looking to get our name out there. So thank you very much. Yeah, but uh, that certainly was not the reason, dude. <laughs> like, let's, let's get this out of the way. What basically happened... 
Yeah, go should, ahead. Should I get into it now, or should we wait till the main event? While we're we're, we're right. on, let's just do it. We skip around. Let's keep with the fucking skipping around. All right. Well, basically, what happened is we had uh, we we were at the rumble last night. There was about ten of us. Of course, we all had different seats and stuff. There was a couple of us sitting next to each other. So we're basically sitting by it, we we're almost sitting on on the balcony so we were there was one row in front of us and then that's it so the wrestlers would pass under us and and go to the back and uh we were kind of like behind the curtains like kind of where the stretchers come out and, and everything else the ambulances or whatever else gimmick might come out or whatever the case may be so all, all the wrestlers that got eliminated not all but you know most of them came and, and, you know, they kind of dropped their gimmick if they were selling a fucking injury or whatever. By the time they got behind the curtain, they gave up and, you know, everything. The kayfabe was dead, which is fine. I, I get it. But, uh, yeah, when it, came, when it came to Daniel Bryan getting eliminated, um, Daniel Bryan came out. And, by the way, Mizdow, he came out like five times, dude. That dude was fucking awesome. He actually, like, took the time to, like, you know, mess around with the fans. He's a good guy. You can tell the guy that loves his job. Just, just good energy from the guy. You can tell. So, uh, you know, any, I, I really wish the guy well. I, I think, hopefully, he has a better position than being a fucking duplicate of Miz now. But anyway, back, back to my main point. Daniel Bryan came out after he got eliminated. Of course, we didn't see what happened on, on the screen because we were paying attention to the ring. So I don't know what happened as far as how it came off on, on TV. But when he came out. He seemed really pissed off, and, and, you know, a couple of us said, said, what's up, Brian? And he turned around, and obviously he looked at us and, and acknowledged the fact that we mentioned his name. So he kind of looked at us, but he didn't give a nod. He didn't kind of smile. He didn't do anything. He just kind of stood there like he wanted to like kind of like beat us up or something, you know? Like he was just standing there staring at us for a couple seconds, and uh, he just turned around and, and, and walked off, and he seemed really pissed off. And I've, I've – Met Daniel Bryan when he was, you know, before like years ago, and he seemed like a really nice guy. From all the, all all the shit that I hear with other people, he seemed like he seems like a, he's a really good guy. So it really came off awkward to me, and I'm I'm I'd like to think I'm I'm good at reading people as far as like you know like how how they're feeling without them telling me. So I it just came across to me like it it wasn't it wasn't him kayfabing it it wasn't him selling. Him being pissed off, dude. Not that many people even noticed that he was there. It was just a couple of us. So, I don't know. I don't know if there's much to it. But basically what happened is when I got home, I just made a video on my YouTube account. And, ah, fuck, man. It just it went everywhere. It's on, like we said, Wrestling Inc. took it. And NoDQ.com. And all, all the dirt sheets took it. And now it's got like 9,000 views, 10,000 views, whatever it's at now. So we certainly appreciate the love, but, you know, that definitely wasn't the intention. I just wanted to share with people what happened and what we saw, and it kind of went viral. So we appreciate it, though. You know, it's, it's always good to get exposure. Most definitely. Most definitely. Yeah, that was, that was but it. But to all the people, yeah, but to all, all the people that keep saying, like, oh, uh, you know, he, he was just selling it, and, you know, it was just kayfabe. Like, dude, it, it, it wasn't. I'm not saying like I'm not saying this is 1997 Survivor Series and he didn't know he was gonna get eliminated. He knew he was gonna get eliminated. All I'm saying is the dude was was pissed off, legit. You know, it was, and I'm 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 sure he was because you know he goes out there, the people are chanting for him, and he's like, damn man, I want to win, you know, rightfully so. And then he knows he's not, so of course he's pissed. That's all I was saying. So he he seemed angry. I'd never seen him like that before. So. I thought I'd mention it, and I did, and it went, you know, everywhere. So, thank you to everybody, all all the new listeners. Hope you're liking it. Go ahead and you know subscribe if you haven't already. We're on iTunes, Stitcher, thdpodcast.com. We do it every Tuesday. Pops up right on your phone. You can listen to it. It's usually good stuff. Not usually. It's always good stuff, right? Always. Always, always good stuff. So right. that's the story behind that whole video that pretty much got posted everywhere. But uh, that certainly was not my intention to get the dirt sheets rolling with it. And, of course, you know, like, WWE is probably, they probably know about that already, right? Since it hit, it, they might. I'm sure. Who knows? Dude, I'm, I'm sure. WWE has people listening to podcasts. They they pay people to keep up with this shit. They, you know, so if, if it, it does get any bigger than it is, that certainly was not my intention to get any heat with Brian. I hope that's not going to be the case, so, 
you know, <laughs> you know, don't put that on me, man. Sometimes I think Austin's listening to us because we'll say something, and the next week he'll fucking say it. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to mention any. Uh, <laughs> I've, I've seen. I've seen that happen a few times with you know. I'm not saying Austin, but you know, other podcasts that are on the scale. So. I am. We're the ones that say take the goddamn script away from fucking Roman Reigns. I mean, everybody says that, but you know, for example, you know, I'm not, somebody actually did the Gucci Man gimmick. So I mean, like, come on, come on. Wait a minute. You mean come that's? On. Wait a minute. Gimmick? What? Wait, 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 what are you talking about? What? I'm sorry, not gimmick. What's going you on? My friend, Gucci Man. Oh yeah, um, yeah, dude's somebody, awesome. Somebody decided to bring him on their podcast. Oh well, you know, <laughs> Gucci's pretty popular. Not, guy. not for very long, but long enough for me to realize that okay, you know, I see where they're going. Well, Gucci's, you know, I mean, he's a pretty popular guy. You know, he just, you know, you know, just got booty raped. Yeah, Gucci man got got raped in jail. How do we go from Daniel Bryan and that video to Gucci man getting raped in jail? I don't know. You want to go back to the Royal Rumble to just kind of just <laughs> just, just take a total <laughs> one. We're just talking about Gucci Man getting raped in jail, but uh, yeah. So that that basically that's that's the story to what happened with the whole Daniel Bryan video and how it went viral and went everywhere. So right, I'm sure you know, it's probably going to gain attention from whatever. But that certainly again was not my intention. You know, if if the guy gets any kind of heat, that's definitely not. You know. But I hope not. I hope not. And I hope they don't put him in a triple threat because uh, I don't think that's the answer to this this fucking disaster that they created last night. Yeah. Who knows? I think that's what they're going to do. Is that, is that, you know, once again, I said it earlier, encore presentation of last year, make this guy lose at the Rumble and, and, and the fans force you to put him in a triple threat. Well, from what I'm reading, you're not going to get that triple threat. Vince is not caving in this year like he did last year. Man. From what I'm reading. That fucking guy. He he needs to go, man. Well, again, I want to repeat that. From what I am reading, that's what it's saying. Yeah, but... uh, I know, but we know. I mean, that's... Look at him on on Steve Austin's podcast. That, that, That says enough. I know. I know. I know. Meanwhile, Steve Austin's got Triple H on next week. That's going to be good. Yeah, so. By the way, last night, it was trending canceled WWE Network. Yeah, wonder why. <laughs> isn't that isn't that kind of wild, though? I mean, people always... I mean, dude, people are starting to retaliate. I mean, this is... This is kind of big, man. I mean, I don't know if, if people realize it or not, but this is this is kind of like a like a movement, you know, like the reaction that that the crowd gave to them last night. That's gonna cause a chain reaction. So now, when Roman Reigns, I'm not saying this is gonna happen in fucking I don't know Alaska when they do a fucking live show there, but you know the the main the main metropolitan areas like New York, Chicago, uh, even even like Georgia now, like Atlanta, you know, WCW territory. Even those territories, they're probably going to start booing this guy. It's like a chain reaction, like I said, you know? So, I, th- I think it's. I think you're going to see something similar for the next couple of months. There, this guy's going to get booed. People are pissed off with the product. People started canceling subscriptions, which I'm not doing it because I enjoy the shit out of the network, so I don't know what the fuck you guys are doing. I was there last night. I was booing just like anybody else, but I'm not canceling. I don't know what you're doing. There's so but, much more to watch. What's that? There's so much more to watch. And what? On the network than just you know just a pay per view. There's tons more to watch. All that, all the shit that you like is on there. Right. Exactly. So I mean, to me, man, it's 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 a fucking steal, dude. I mean, but hey, yeah, I'm I'm all for people canceling it to make a point. You know, this is that's this is what essentially. Yeah. I mean, what, what we're doing. that's kind of. You know, and I, that's that's why I'm ha- that's another reason why I'm happy that video went big because that's gonna kind of cause a chain reaction and, and and gain some views and that's 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 good, man. More people should do that shit, man. Start canceling subscriptions, start fucking booing these guys, do that shit. But don't go in the parking lot and start rioting and doing all that stuff that they were doing last night. But hey, no. man, 
<laughs> like somebody said when they when they ran up on Fandango's uh, car, welcome to Philly. So Yeah, that one. Welcome to Philly, motherfucker. We're a ho but they also said we're Hogan country, not and we don't like your ass. I don't know what the fuck was with the Hogan posters last night. Everybody had Hogan posters. And I'm talking about like the big posters. You know, like the nineteen ninety two fucking the big ass posters, like the, the fucking five foot long posters that you would get back in the day. Holsters. They gotta put the belt on the man. I'm telling you. Yeah. Make it happen, man. Hulk Hogan, WrestleMania thirty one. One last run for the holster. I'm down. Beat Brock Lesnar, man. I'm fucking down, bro. Dude, that would be hilarious. That would be yeah. so bad. That would be so bad. That would be. But I would that watch would so I'd watch it. I don't give a shit. I'd watch it. I don't even think Brock would do that. Do you think Brock would lay down for Hogan right now? Uh-huh. You think so? And and then go right to UFC? Uh-huh. He just lay down for a fucking 70-year-old man that can't even do a fucking leg drop? Yeah. I think he I think he would. Yeah. He has a business, man. He does just care about money, so I don't know. But I, I would think it would kind of damage his image, just like losing to a 60, 68-year-old guy, you know? Yeah, it wouldn't be good, but I know he would. He would do it, so. Yeah. I don't know. But, man, I, I was really surprised last night, dude. I thought I was going to see a lot of kids. There were not that many kids there, which no. No, was, a, was a plus. So. You know me, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the going to the indies because I, I feel more at home because I can do what the fuck I want without yeah. feeling bad because there's a fucking two-year-old sitting next to me, you know? <laughs> I, I felt at home last night, which was, which was a plus. That's good. I honestly, I felt like it was an indie crowd, dude. I mean, people were, you know. Well, we 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 could. Tell. Yeah, us uh, us 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 uh, network viewers could tell that it was a, a indie type crowd. Dude, we were they were getting a fucking CZW chant going. So I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> welcome to Philly. There you go. Yeah, there you go, man. Yeah. But honestly. <laughs> Do you think WWE is going to come back to Philly for, like, any big events, like, ever again? Oh, they've already announced the next date they're coming back. Yeah, it's like a live event, though. Oh, that's probably a smart thing to do. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, you guys, it's probably, you guys probably are going to get punished and only going to get live events for the next, like, five years. Yeah, honestly, I'm, I call it right now, dude. That's going to happen. I do, too. The, uh, this is the only fucking city... Honestly, name one other city. And I'm not saying this because I'm proud of it. I'm just saying it because it's fucking crazy. This is the only fucking city where the people almost rioted the Walsh Frogo Center and fucking like, wanted to attack wrestlers with chairs. You know, like this is 1970s type of shit, you know? This is shit people did to Bruiser Brody and fucking Stan Hansen. This is, you know. Yeah. Is, and now they're going to Fandango. So, I mean, that, that, welcome to Philly. There you go. Yeah. I don't, I don't know, man, but... But, I mean, what's the problem, man? I mean, wrestling's been big. Dude, we had the fucking Spectrum. I mean, wrestling's been a big part of Philly, man. I mean, you know, even the generations get passed down. I mean, people fucking love it. I mean, they take it... I'm not saying they take it serious. Like, it's, it's it's real to me, damn it. You know, like that type of shit. But it's like, don't insult my intelligence. You know, when I when I pay good money, it's like... All right, let's, let's compare this to this. Let's say WWE is a restaurant, right? Okay. It's a food establishment, right? Right. I want to have a steak, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's say you're the WWE. I come to your establishment. I want to have a steak, and I ask for a filet mignon, and you give me a ribeye, and I pay for a filet mignon, okay? Now, the ticket prices last night were for a filet mignon, okay? So okay. the filet mignon is, is what the people want, which is essentially Daniel Bryan or one of the other options that, that we had. But they give them a ribeye. Or, in fact, you gave me fucking scrapple. You know, hmm. I pay for filet mignon. You, know, you give me a fucking scrapple. You give me chopped bacon. You know, that's not what I ordered. No, that's how I look at it, man. Give the people what they want. They're paying, dude. It's not fucking real. That's another reason. And all these people commenting on videos saying, "Oh, it's it's not real. Why are people so pissed?" Exactly, it's not real. That's why people are pissed. 
because if it was real, people can't get pissed because it's like, oh, well, shit, Roman Reigns actually got them out. Well, I guess he's a better guy. Hmm. This is fake, so they can script it the right way. That right. pisses people off more because it's like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? It's fake. It's scripted, so why not make it good? That's what pisses me off more. So, yeah, I'm, I'm mad because it's it's fake. That's why I'm mad. I'm not mad because it's still real to me, damn it. That's not why I'm mad. I'm mad because it's fake and they could script it way better than they do. So that's why. Yeah, I agree. I'm with you, Shaheen. Yeah, I know you're with me. I'm just talking to the other thousands of people in the right. IWC that hate me right now. The, I, you, 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 you have become pretty hated, but that's fine. That's, that's fine. absolutely fine. That is fine. That is fine with me. Hell yeah. Now, did you like this little segment here with Triple H and Stephanie? Did you guys see it? No, we couldn't see any of the backstage segments. You didn't see the one that had Stephanie and Triple H with Paul Heyman and Heyman saying he has a solution to the problem and it's Brock Lesnar and Brock Lesnar. and Okay, you didn't see any of that? Uh, we, didn't, we didn't see any of that stuff. All right, then we won't even bother with it. So. Oh, no, fill me in because I'd, I'd like to know now because it probably help me out in the future. Uh, Steph and Triple H are backstage, and he's talking about how, oh, I didn't even know Sting was there Monday, talking about Raw. And, uh, you know, he goes, you know, four people walk up and tell me, you know, Nikolai Volkov showed up, but, you know, no one can tell me Sting is there. Um, Paul Heyman comes in, and he said... Oh, wow. he, he actually mentioned Nikolai Volkov? Yes, he did. Why? Come on, man. Why are you... No. Why take over the fucking old Russian, man? Why? Just for the hell of it. Uh, but then Heyman comes in and says he's there to solve tri their problems, and that he has a, a solution, and it's the you know for John Cena, and the solution is Brock Lesnar. You got a problem with Sting? He's got a solution. The solution is Brock Lesnar. You got a problem with uh, 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 what's his name? The other guy, whatever. He's got a solution, and it's Brock Lesnar. So. That's it. He basically said all his solutions are solved with Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I don't know, man. So what do you what do you think is going to happen? Seth Rollins goes with uh, Paul Heyman eventually. Could happen. That's where I see it going. They kind of they kind of subliminally hinted at that a couple weeks ago. So it could. I happen. can see it. Yeah, in I mean, fact, it, I, I kind of like it actually. They have been hinting at it. You're right. I agree. <laughs> Yeah, that actually, I think that's kind of interesting. I'd, I'd like that. Yeah, it's been hinted. Maybe, hmm, I don't know. That's probably what will happen, more than likely. Some sort of relationship with them, and I don't know. I guess we'll see. It, it'll, it'll definitely be in a fuck finish. Yeah, yes, there will be fuckery involved. Definitely. Definite fuckery. A lot of fuckery with the J and J security and mm -hmm. Kane. Can Kane retire already, man? I mean, fuck. I wish. But, but dude, see, that's oh, this is my, another point I want. That, that's why people get pissed off because it's like, dude, Kane and Big Show. Those are like the two people that people fucking hate right now and don't want to see. And that's who you give me. Really? That's but who. They they're doing it to piss people off, man. They have to be. They have to be. It just, like, I don't know, man. Either that or those 26 fighters just have no fucking common sense. That that could definitely be a B. You might have just hit the nail on the head. Just have no common sense and they just get paid for nothing. That, that, that definitely could be it. Please make me a writer, Vince. Thank yes. you, sir. <laughs> Jesus, man. I mean, I don't know. Man. Hey, does, I mean, does it make sense to you in any form or fashion that Big Show and Kane are the last fucking two of the last three guys in the ring? Um, it makes sense to me in they wanted to make Reigns look extremely strong by throwing out two of the big guys they got. Yeah, but yeah, I can't say that. But he he just he threw out Rusev. That's that's big enough, man. Fuck it. 
Well, but yeah, but he didn't throw Rusev out until later. Like, last. Yeah, all right. Why not? Why not leave like Ryback till the end? Well, because Ryback had to be thrown out in like f- four minutes. Exactly, and he had to lose at the fucking Survivor Series in what one minute when he was getting the biggest pop of the night. Makes sense. That's the way it goes. They're just they're gonna shit on him for a while too. So who knows? But uh, after that crowd. Died, dude. That crowd died as soon as as soon as Brian got eliminated. That crowd died. I mean, oh, it, it kind of got back up at certain spots, but for for the most part, it kind of just died down. Yeah, they 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 got back up for a few people, and one of them was Miz. Uh, I'm sorry, Damian Mizdow, who was in the next match. Miz and Damian Mizdow versus the Usos. Yeah. Um, oh, they were over, man. Oh God, yeah. Well, he, was he was over, not not Miz. He was way over with that crowd last night. Oh yeah. Oh, you could. He was totally came off on 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 uh, TV that way. So yeah, definitely right. Yeah. yeah this, was, this was a good match. Uh, uh, one of the Usos completely missed Miz on that flip outside the ring. Did you guys catch that? I think that was on the opposite side of where I was sitting, if I recall correctly. Well, I'm not sure. I don't. I don't really remember that match. He was like a foot away. <laughs> I, did, I did hear like a huge thump though. I don't know if like, and I remember Pete or uh, one of the girls took a took a pretty hard bump. Uh, I think it was Paige. <laughs> Actually, I think it was Nikki. Could have been. She got dumped on her head. Yeah, it could have been Nikki. Yeah, that ass would make a pretty good dud. That ass would make that ass would thud pretty good, you know. Plus, she's got those, you know, those things. Yeah, yeah she does. That yeah, she does. She so, uh, yeah, yeah. This, this, I enjoy. This match, though, match. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean the Usos match was fine. Usos are always pretty decent in the ring, so any match you get with those guys is, is going to be average at least. It's, it's going to be okay. So I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I was fine with the card so far, and then we got the main event, which uh, you want to go ahead and press that motherfucking button. Yeah, well, like you said, we the, we did have the Paige and Natalia versus the Bella Twins match, and then blah blah. Oh, so. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know you want to. Talk about uh, that. We gotta at least mention it, and then now we get the Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. There we go. Got the motherfucking main event. That's it, which uh, this was uh you you guys all know Brock Lesnar, Seth Rollins, John Cena. This match could not have been better, booked better, or Come off better, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, as as shitty as as the booking was for the Rumble, this was really good. I mean, like you know, and another thing, man, people were just like fucking, just shitting on the on on the crowd, saying Philly ruined the show, dude. I mean, the Philly crowd was fine until they started fucking with us, you know. The crowd was into. They were. They were... What was that? The crowd was totally into this match, though. This was a this was the best match of the show by far. Oh, absolutely! This this was this is going to be one of the best matches of the year, dude. Oh God, what a match! I mean, they, they did the job, and and really, if you think about this match, the way I saw the way I saw this match, they put a huge focus on Lesnar to be strong, and they put a huge focus on Rollins. You know who they didn't put much focus on in that match? Which surprised me? John Cena. They didn't put a lot of focus on him in that match. That's good, man. Gotta yeah. phase that guy out. Yeah? I mean, they, I, I, I was surprised and happily surprised. Dude, I was... I was that, that whole John Cena sucks, the anthem that people sang, that was like the greatest thing of the night for me. <laughs> I knew you would like... So- I don't know how loud it was on TV. It was so loud in the arena. It was crazy. It was pretty loud. It was pretty well uh, orchestrated. Yeah, it was. Pretty- <coughs> Excuse 
Excuse me. <coughs> Struggling over here. But uh Yes, sir. But this this match was awesome, man. Right off right off the bat, you know, Lesnar just fucking starts off with the German suplexes and I really like how he just dumped the J and J security right on their fucking heads, dude. He picked both of them up. This guy doesn't even wait for them to give him some kind of support to, to lift him up. He just lifts people up and just dumps them. Yeah. He doesn't need shit. Just boom, you're done. Yeah, he doesn't need any help, man. This guy just fucking picks you up and he dumps you right on your head. However you want to bump, that's your problem. This guy's not helping you out. Yeah, and you better have your arms out because otherwise you're getting your... I, I noticed one of their heads bounced right off the mat. Now, do you think, honestly, I mean, let's let's give them the, the, let's give them the benefit of the doubt, all right? I'm, I'm going to play the advocate for a second. Okay. Which is odd. Mm-hmm. Let's say Daniel Bryan is not fully recovered yet, right? Like, I'm talking about, like, 100%. Good to go. He's ready to wrestle fucking the main event at WrestleMania. Do you think maybe they would have went with him if, if, like, maybe he's not, if he was 100%? I'm not sure if he is 100%. I'm just saying. He may not be 100%. Maybe that's why they got him out of the Royal Rumble. And, uh, I mean, to be honest, Brock Lesnar is probably not the safest guy to put a guy in the ring with that, that just had a broken neck. Then uh, and he that they got healed by a witch doctor, so Okay, then wait until after the rumble to bring him back. Don't even do it. Don't even bring him back for the rumble, especially after what happened last year. Yeah, but they're they're entirely too stupid to do that. Or just have him fucking get dumped out by Wyatt, like I said at the end. I mean That would have been fine. Or don't even have him show up keep the crowd's mind off of what happened last year instead of throwing Daniel Bryan out there at number 10 and getting him dumped out. It was it's it, it was horrible, horrible, horrible booking. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, not that I could, you know, I mean, not that I could go in and, you know, book a show or anything, but that to me was horrible booking. I'll put it that way. Man, we can probably book a better show than that, man. <laughs> that, I mean, you don't need to be a fucking rocket scientist to, to fucking figure that out, man. I mean, no, you shouldn't have to be a rocket scientist. Cool. Royal Rumble. Yeah, they did a great job with the main event, but the Rumble was a fucking disaster, too. I mean, they did all the wrong moves, all the wrong choices. They had so many options, and they just oh yeah, yeah it was bad. oh yeah, bad. Let's, let's let's finish up the main event real quick. Rollins came off like a fucking madman doing. I mean, came off. I mean, he got so much height off of that that rope when he hit Lesnar on that Spanish announce table. Yeah, I thought he killed Lesnar. Oh, dude, he bounced off of Lesnar like like Lesnar was a a a piece of fucking meat. He bounced right off yeah. of him, and then he does this corkscrew moonsault to Cena. You know, I mean. Oh yeah. That was a fucking... Really let him a, do some flying last night. Yeah, man, that was a thing of beauty. It was. Both of them were. Both moves yeah. were great. And, you know, made Brock look like an animal, and it made made Seth Rollins look like he could be definitely a, a, a contender for that title. Yeah, absolutely, man. Um, I don't... I was kind of surprised he didn't cash in last night. You know, I thought that, but then I thought, well... You cash in. Where do you go from there? Well, I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna lose. I didn't think he was gonna cash in and, and be successful. But I'm, I'm kind of glad they didn't do that. Save it for Mania, yeah. or you know, the obvious choice is you know the Raw after Mania, which is kind of getting old. I, I hope they do it at Mania since it's never been done before. Yeah, they could. You know, actually, that that wouldn't be that bad. Have uh, Reigns against uh, Brock Lesnar. Reigns wins, fucking Brock, t Brock takes him out, you know, Rollins comes in, cashes in, there you go. It would make sense. Former former brothers now, now fighting for the title. Yes, sir. So, uh, Boxman, are you, uh, are you ready to uh, take a walk on this journey to WrestleMania now again? Oh, dude, I am so on this road to WrestleMania, you have no clue. Are you really? No. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I'm actually kind of excited. 
Maybe I don't know. Maybe because like I was there last night, but I don't know. I hope the excitement keeps going. <laughs> I hope I hope this isn't just today. Maybe yeah. next week I'll just again. But you may, but I don't know, man. Oh. I mean, it, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't, I don't know if I'm. But I, I can't really say I'm excited. No. I'll tell you one thing I'm not excited about is WWE Fast Lane. That's a that's not gonna be good. I mean the matches might be good, but like the idea of a pay per view being called Fast Lane, like what kind of gimmick are they gonna do? Like race cars? Like I just I don't get it. Oh yeah, yeah. You must I forgot. Yeah, you missed the promo last night, which had all race car sounds in it. Awesome. So Grooming that's good. race car sounds. Oh, actually, actually, we got that. We got that. Yeah, we got that. Oh, I figured you would get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, race car sounds. Vroom. Vroom. Yeah. yeah. I was just I was just trying to forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I failed miserably. But um yeah, yeah. Dude, the main event was fucking awesome. I thought they went with the right guy. You know, you fed him Undertaker's streak. Keep the title on him. Get it off of him at a at a at the biggest pay per view. Don't get it off of him at, at at Royal Rumble. Right. Who cares if he's leaving the next night? Does it really make a difference? Like I, I don't get it. Everybody gets you know. Well, he's going to the UFC. They have to take it off of him at Royal Rumble. Why? Why? He's under contract until re- the night after WrestleMania. Yeah, take it. Off. Have him lose at WrestleMania. It's fucking simple, dude. It's not. Like I don't know, man. Just. Fucking boggles my mind. I just I don't get it. I know. Don't get upset, Shaheen. Calm down. Blood pressure is rising. I know. Calm down. Take it easy. Breathe. Breathe. Oh, dude, you see me last night, man. I was like the fucking. I was like the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> I almost started shadow boxing, man. Oh hell yeah. Jeez. That was. I oh. wish it was. I wish. Like I wish it was fucking like ninety five, ninety six nitro, where you could just fucking dump like buckets of popcorn and fucking soda in the ring. <laughs> it it would have been so good last night, but like you know nowadays like you'll get fined like fucking eight thousand dollars and go to jail and yeah, that's not good. Yeah, so it's 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 not worth it to. <laughs> To throw anything in the ring, so please don't do that, folks. I didn't tell you to do that. Jakes. Yeah, fines, fines are bad. Jail is bad. Dude, they find me like twelve hundred dollars in uh in Atlantic City for pissing outside. I'm like, dude, dogs piss outside all the time. Dude, be lucky. Why can't I just pee outside? Be lucky. You didn't I pay tax. What was that? Be lucky you didn't get arrested and have to. Fucking being the goddamn sexual sexual predator or something for fucking dicky waving. No, 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 I did get arrested, but I was like in the middle of the fucking woods, so like there was like nobody near me. Oh, you, you had know? your car and went and peed. Yeah, no, no, I was actually lost. I got like way too drunk. It was like I think it was like my twenty first birthday. Or I don't know where. It was. No, it wasn't my twenty first. It was one of my one of my birthdays in my early twenties. Or an AC and. Uh, what? They might have just taken you in for your own good then. Oh, they definitely did. <laughs> but I, I had a I had a bottle of Patron and I finished the bottle of Patron and oh. when they when they caught me I was on a on a bicycle on a pink bicycle I think I actually mentioned this a couple weeks ago on a pink bicycle with fucking ribbons hanging off of it and that's pretty much all I remember I, I was riding that all night in AC. That's awesome. That is awesome. So there you go. That is my piss story. Awesome. I love. I had it. to go to court. I had to go to fucking everything for it, man. <laughs> Made me drive from Philly to New Jersey just for piss court. For piss court. What kind of shit is that, man? <laughs> I had to go to piss court. I had to go to piss court. What the fuck is piss court? <laughs> New Jersey taking the piss court. Come on, man. Oh, Fucking shit. This guy's got prostitutes everywhere. There's crackheads everywhere, man. They're pissing everywhere. Oh. I clean piss. 
well, now you got to go to piss court. <laughs> piss court. Right, well, that was luckily I'm I'm done with piss court, so oh. that's good. Oh, these fucking <laughs> Japanese fucking fans. Just just to nitpick, oh. did a phoenix splash. Oh, screw you, body. Oh, get it right, man. Did a phoenix splash, bruh. Jesus Christ, buddy. You think you are Dave Meltzer? By the way, I noticed we got a couple uh, new uh, live listeners. We have a couple different ways to listen, so I don't know which way you're listening. But you can always go on uh, Facebook.com slash group slash THD podcast. We have a link for the chat room. You can go in the chat room. Join the live conversation with the good uh, high tech folks. You know how that goes. There you go. There you go. Boxman cosigns. I do. I'm sorry. I was actually typing in the chat room when you said that. There you go, man. Join Boxman in the chat room. There you go. Shaheen's in there now and then. Now there and you go. I like me a chat room. Keeps me busy. I was actually going to have uh, Anthony on the on the on the podcast tonight, but he went to AC, I believe. He was going to talk about because he was he was sitting in a different section than me and Steve, mm. so he was going to tell. Uh, Kind of give us like a live reaction. Well, not I guess it's not live anymore, but a reaction to what the crowd was in his in his section. <clears throat> nice, nice. So yeah. back to the rumble. I thought the first ten entrants were great. We got let's see who did we get the first ten? We got Miz and r Truth started, which I thought was very odd. Yeah, usually they get like one one. Uh, Big like competitor in there. Yeah, it was very odd who started, but they did. So we got that, and then uh, number three. Good to see Bubba Ray. Yeah. Had the glasses. Big fucking. Dude, you look fat. Was that just me? I don't know if it was the outfit or it was him, but. Yeah, I don't know. I can't he... tell if it was the vest or he was fat. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, it might have been the the vest underneath or something. But yeah, he did look off, I, awfully big. But I don't know. Who knows? Maybe he got really heavy, banging velvet sky. I don't know. There you go, man. I'd be like, but, uh, I'd be like three pounds. There you go. But yeah, that was that was that was a big pop of the night, man. I definitely enjoyed him coming out. That was that was a good surprise. Yeah, yeah, it definitely uh, was. And then we yeah. got. Uh, Luke Harper came out next. Yeah, that was that was cool, man. Seeing uh like Bubba Ray and, and Luke Harper face off. Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was. It was really yeah. pretty cool. Let's see. Luke Harper <coughs> down and then and then Curtis Bray Wyatt tried to come down. No, no, no. It was Bray Wyatt next. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. And they start double teaming Bubba after a little thing, and then Curtis Axel tries to come down after that, and Eric Rowan takes him out. Yeah. So Curtis <coughs> was on Twitter saying he wants his WrestleMania match. Rightfully so, man. He won. Yeah. Give it to him. Give him the man his match. Give that man his match. Yeah. That's what man, I what That's what I see. The one thing the one thing bad about that video kinda of getting a lot of attention is like all these like crazy people are hitting me up now. Wanting Just, to kill me. Oh, well awesome, dude. <laughs> I know, right? That's that's amazing. Tell him, so. tell him to post all these threats on THT podcast slash <laughs> you know, Facebook.com slash group slash THD podcast. Yeah, or just go to the YouTube video and you'll see a lot of wildness. Nice. Maybe I'll start replying to a few of them. There you go, man. There we go. What do we have next? Um, and then after all that, let's see, after all that with the Wyatt stuff, Harper and Rowan, let's see. So we get, let's see, number seven, the Boogeyman. Oh, the biggest fucking, oh, dude, I marked out for this so hard, man. This was awesome. I, I did. loved it. 
I'm sorry, Boogeyman's a bad well, motherfucker. He is, man. He looks so fucking creepy. Probably the creepiest wrestling gimmick ever. Yeah. For me. He came out, he did a few little things. Him and Wyatt had a little stare down, and then he got his ass thrown out. That was it. That was Boogeyman. That was it? Yeah. Yeah, and sorry, I tuned out for that's but fun. um, yeah, man, that, that was that was a disappointment. I mean, I I know why they did it because he's kind of older. They don't want to risk it. But uh, yeah, I mean, they could have. I mean, come on, dude, he didn't even get a clothesline in. You know. I know, I know, but whatever. But then we get, I mean, to make up for that, we get Sin Cara. Yeah. yeah. Sin Cara, what a maneuver! Yeah. Yeah, Bray does makes quick work of him and starts singing. He's got the whole world in his hands. This is kind of the same spot. Who did didn't Punk do this last year in the Rumble? Uh, I'm not sure. Kind of start just going in the ring like, "Come on, where is everybody? I'm waiting for my challengers." Kind of stuff like that. I think that. Oh was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did that last year. Yeah. Dude, uh, did you see the video that I posted up of uh, Bray Wyatt's entrance? Yeah, I did. Oh man, that was that was fucking awesome. That's like that's like one thing. Even if it's a live, live event, man, it's fucking it's like eerie being in there. It's like completely dark and there's just like fucking thousands of you know, you would you would like to think it's it's fucking light. it'd be cool if it was lighters, but it's phones. Yeah, it is. It is. But it still looks cool. It it does look cool. I mean you gotta yeah, you Definitely does. I like it, man. I'm digging it. Yeah. Yeah, so let's see what happens here. We get Sin Cara after Sin Cara. Oh! Woo, woo, woo. Zach Ryder. Of course he did. The guy's got, I mean, he, he had the, I don't know. They just really lost their shit with him for some reason. The guy yeah. was, won't be the, won't be the last. No, it won't. So he came out there, um, didn't last long at all, and then number ten, the big hopeful comes out, Daniel Bryan. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Yeah. So, dude, he he went hard for the first couple of minutes, man. He was fucking. He dude. was he was giving those guys. Every bit of the fucking, every leg drop, every fucking, everything. Suicide dive through the second rope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that laid him out for like, what, like five minutes? Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. I'm like, man, he's just going to lie there for a few minutes, go back in, do another big move, lie down again. You know? Yeah. That's what everyone was thinking, so. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. What the hell was that? Yeah, I sneezed. Oh, yeah, I know, obviously, but damn. I put my hand over the mic to try to cover it, but obviously it didn't work. Wild one. That's a wild yeah, cord. I got to get a mute on this uh -huh. microphone. So let's see. Who came out after that? After Daniel Bryan. Do, 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 do. Fondango. Oh, Fondango. Wonderful. That's right, because the WWE locker room underestimates the power of the tango. Yeah, that guy got a bad last night, man. They would not let him out of the fucking parking lot. <laughs> that guy was not getting out, dude. Yeah, they said he just kind of stared forward and didn't want to look at anybody. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot, of the, a lot of the wrestlers were fucking awkward when they were leaving. I didn't see the Usos, though. Apparently, they got out of the car, and they... I mean, I guess you read the article, so you know better than me. I didn't see the Usos, though. I saw Fandango, though. Yeah, it was it was, a, it was an article on Wrestling Inc. I read. We'll check it out later. I'll, I'll, I'll go through it later. All right. Yeah, we can do that. Um, Tyson Kidd comes out after Fandango. Natty is hot. This is like the only crowd that didn't do the Natty's husband. They actually like the guy. 
you know what? The the guy actually is good. I, I can't say he's not. I I, I I I like the guy. He's good. I like him. Yep. And then uh, after that, Stardust is uh, is next out. Yep. I like how he actually uh, has a different like color every time. Yeah, he's coming out in pay-per-views with different colors. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah. He was out there for a good while, too. And then number 14, another surprise. It's me, it's me, it's D-D-P. Yoga. I love this, dude. I got to say, I marked out again. Yeah. Seriously, I did. I loved it. DDP yeah. came. He, he, he got a little bit of offense in. He stayed in a little longer than I actually thought he would. Shit, he stayed longer than the boogeyman. And you yep, can yeah, thank uh, got Yoga in, for that. Hell yeah, I got in some diamond cutters and... Uh, got the diamond cutter from the top rope, man, to Fandango. Yeah. It's a good spot. Yep, but then uh, Rusev comes out and we say goodbye to DDP. Yes, sir. I love Rusev, man. Yeah, he's uh, definitely good. I think he's a badass. Yeah, he's definitely pretty awesome, dude. He's he's. Uh, they need to keep with keep the, the. They're actually booking him well. He's the one guy I can probably say that they're actually doing the right thing all the way with. Dude, the only like people they've done the right thing with is li in the last couple of years that I started watching wrestling again. Literally, has been the Shield and fucking Rusev. That's it. Yeah, and the Shield they even could have left together a little longer, but. But I mean, they they still made a huge impact. But, oh yeah, uh, those are like main people that actually did something good with. I mean, Bray Wyatt completely let down. Dean Ambrose, whatever. Seth Rollins is actually another guy they've they've done pretty well with. So three three people they've done well with. So you know we got to give them something. Yeah. I agree. But yeah. Yep. Yep. I agree, man. Um, where were we? Where was I? Uh, next in, Gold Dust. Yes, sir. Yes, another one. You saw the brothers working together a good amount here. Um, and then, of course, Kofi Kingston comes in. Dude. Hold on one second. Do you think, uh, do you think the Dust brothers are actually going to face off this WrestleMania finally? Or is there no space? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think there's any space on the card. And they haven't teased any sort of breakup at all. Well, they did at the Rumble. A little bit, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I mean, they did last year, but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. I figure they're going to do it sometime soon. They've already had their run. True. So, but I don't know, man. I don't know. I guess we'll, uh, we can only. Wait and see, but I don't see it happening. Right now, at least. <clears throat> they got to start building up uh, Luke Harper, man. That guy's fucking awesome. Yeah, they do. Book him right, man. Yeah, they need to start doing that, too. Can you so. imagine Brock Lesnar against Luke Harper? I mean, I know it's not a WrestleMania main event caliber type of match, but that would be a badass match. That will be a pretty good fucking match, dude. Even like Rusev and, and Brock Lesnar, I know it's heel against you. I'm just fantasy booking. Not for WrestleMania, I'm just saying it's a cool match. That's a good fucking match. Yeah, it would be. Yep. Yeah, it would be. I totally agree. So now we want so. Yeah. Yep. yep, and then Kofi Kingston comes out. New day. You know, after all the cool shit Kofi does, <laughs> Adam Rose comes out next. His little entourage of little rosebuds catch Kofi Kingston and put him back in the ring. I mean, that was that was a that was a really lame spot. I mean, it wasn't lame, but just just compared to out of oh God, I can't out of all the I can't believe Kofi just did that moves. This is what they give him this year. This is what he does. 
I'm sorry, Kofi. Thumbs down, motherfucker. Yeah, that was lame. Yeah, so whatever. And then and then New got beat up last night, man. New Day got it bad. Oh, and then Adam Rhodes gets knocked out almost right away. So, and then right here, number nineteen is where the man comes in. The man, double R, Roman Reigns. Down now, down now, down now, down now. And he comes through the crowd, and he comes through the crowd. By the time he gets to the ring, it's already time for Big E to hit the fucking ring. Yeah. Big e Shit, by the time he gets to the ring, it's the end of the fucking rumble. He got one person left. Yeah. Meanwhile, Big E did a nice fucking belly-to-belly -belly with Rusev. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that Big E and Rusev actually work really well together. If you remember last uh, Royal Rumble, uh -huh. he also had a really good match. He actually did that uh, spear spot to the outside. That was fucking awesome. That was good shit, man. These two guys worked very well together. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So, yep. <clears throat> uh, let's see. After Roman Reigns yeah. comes in, let's see. Go ahead. I'm sorry. But I can't say I like the New Day, but I I, I see potential in Big E. Because uh, the guy does have charisma, man. And I just, I don't know. I'm not sure what they're doing with the guy. This is killing him for me. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing with the guy. We'll see. Let's see what happens with Big E. I mean, right now, at least he's, I know it's horrible to say, but at least he's on TV doing something. And it looks like he's trying to make something of this fucking gimmick. So let's, let's, let's wait a little while and see what happens with Big E. So. That's honestly, he's, he's one of those guys that I could see like going to TNA in two years and they really capitalize on his, on his ability on, to, you know, have, Fucking, I'm not sure if he's really good at doing promos, but he certainly has the ability to fucking get over. And you know, he, he has natural charisma. You can tell from his YouTube videos and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. he's another one of those guys that I can see like uh, turn out to be like AC3. Yeah, 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 yeah. And big, yeah, you're right. And he'd be a, a damn good like true heel. Yeah, either that or just like a goofy ass face, like you know, fucking around all the time. Exactly. So. Like, badass, but, like, you know, he's kind of comical. He fucks around. Kind of like what The Rock did. You know, you always just mess with people, but... Yeah. At the same time, he, 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 you know, he'd kick your ass, but... Exactly. Exactly. So, after all that with Big E and Rusev, we get Miz Dow, the number 21, who comes in. Miz comes out, tells him he's not going in. He's going to... Miz is taking his spot. But Miz gets up on the apron, gets knocked down... Ms. Dow runs in. Did you did you notice all the spots they try to feed Roman Reigns to kind of gain him momentum from from getting booed? Cause they knew, like, dude, I look into this shit. Like, I they knew he was gonna get booed. You know this, I know this. They knew this guy was gonna get fucking booed. So what do they do? Fucking, they know Sandow was over, right? So mm -hmm. what do they do? They feed him the Miz. They thought that would get a pop for Roman Reigns. Oh yeah, get Miz out there and get Sand out. They didn't even fucking pop for that. They booed. They still booed that. They booed him fucking getting the Miz out of there. So I mean that tells you something. Yeah, and they were just getting. They were just turning around when when Miz Dow went in and DDT'd Wyatt. They were just yeah. starting to turn around. The crowd was getting hot again, and literally ten seconds later, Miz Dow gets thrown out. Yeah, I don't know, man. I honestly think they try to like punish the crowd for some odd reason. Cause like it, it makes no sense why Ziggler is over, Ryback is over, fucking Sandow is over, Daniel Bryan is over. All these guys, why get rid of them all within like a couple minutes? I mean, I know Daniel Bryan was in there for like fifteen minutes or whatever. He was laying down for ten minutes. So yeah, yeah. Or if, if you're gonna get rid of him in five minutes, bring him out at number fucking. 26, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then number 22 comes out. Who do we get? Cat Wagger. Wonderful. Cuffin, Cack Attack, Cat Wagger. Yeah, this guy sucks, man. I never get this swagger, man. That guy sucks. Yeah. No, he doesn't suck. He's just, he's just so, just fucking, just blah. Yeah, he lasted a lot longer than I thought he would, though. Now, do you think they're going to uh, induct Zeb Coulter into the Hall of Fame this year since he kind of disappeared? I don't know. 
Um, but while 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 you mention it, it looks like they're inducting Arnold. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Get to the chopper, hey. Scheiße. Get to the chopper, hey. Okay, I don't Arnold do Schwarzenegger. I, I don't mind that though, man. I, I like Arnold. I got no problem with that. Arnold's a bad motherfucker. What what did he really do like wrestling related? I remember he was on like a SmackDown in like '99. But yeah, he's done a few appearances, and I know he's um. Well, you know Vince; he's a big bodybuilder fan, and I know he's and but you know Arnold and Bruno San Martino are like great friends. So yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, if, but that still doesn't. How does in ring? I don't know. It's like, I just I don't know. I remember him making one appearance at SmackDown back when like SmackDown was still new, and I was a fucking teenager. That's all I remember. How many times has Drew Carey been on? But that's not, that's just fucking, that's just bullshit, though. That's not. Well, I mean, they're putting him in the celebrity wing, too. So, hey, it's the same shit. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not saying it's bad. I actually want him in. I'm just trying to think of, like, what he's done in wrestling. I'm not saying it's in a bad way. I'm not just trying to think of what he's done in wrestling. The only thing I recall is just that SmackDown thing. I don't think he's done much for wrestling, but I, not that I can remember. But you know, my brain is a little, you know, foggy yeah. sometimes. Do they have to do a celebrity every year? Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's that's brutal. <laughs> yes, that too. I mean, like, dude, how many do they have? I mean, a lot. That's why they started guys like fucking you know Drew Carey and shit because they don't have too many people. They have Pete Rose, they have fucking what, that's Muhammad Ali, yeah, Schwarzenegger. That, that Drew Carey shit was just embarrassing, dude. I'm sorry. It was just embarrassing. Donald Trump got booed. Mm-hmm. That's one guy I don't I don't mind seeing get booed. Because he has so much money, it's like you can't feel bad for the guys. Eh, whatever. Nah, I don't think he gave a flying shit. He don't care. Yeah, he's going. Did you home. feel bad? For, uh, did you feel bad for Reigns last night? I can't say I did. Uh, I, you know what? I, I, I guess a little bit because I mean, even, even The Rock couldn't get that guy over, dude. In yeah, Philly, because I mean, it's not his fault, you know. It's like, and it's like the guy's young man. You know, he has to be like nervous. Like that's a lot of fucking people just booing the shit out of you, you know. What though, man? You gotta know it's bad. You gotta be able to step up, and you know, and you know what? You know, are you gonna tell me he thinks he's ready? If he thinks he's ready, that's that that's a big problem too. No, I don't think he's ready, and I think he knows he's not ready. I think just Vince Vince probably has a hard on for this guy. And they just well, you know. what? Sometimes you gotta step up. Be like, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna flop, but I'd rather fucking you know take two steps back and then, you know, hop forward when I'm ready instead of, you know, ending up back in NXT. But I don't know. Who knows, man? I Yeah, but um, I kind of felt bad for The Rock. <laughs> nah. Uh, he, uh, dude, he, he didn't get booed. Uh, yeah, he didn't. <laughs> he didn't. They were booing, they were booing uh, uh, Roman, but... You know, he just happened to be. It was a bad spot for him. It was it was a clusterfuck. He comes down to the ring. You know, he gets in the ring. Suddenly, Rusev has to come back because the, I think they forgot he was out because they had already rang the bell. Yeah, that was it was that match was a clusterfuck, dude. By the end of it, but um, speaking of that match, let's go ahead because we're, we're we're already at number twenty three. You want to keep going? Let's keep do this, Shaheen. All right. All right, 23, the big guy, Ryback. My man. Yeah, he came out, and and another guy, I thought, you know what? Maybe he's got a chance. I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Um, but then Kane came out. Uh, after that. Goes yeah. Out. Yeah. For Kane. Kane and his slacks, dude. Come on. Came in his sensible slacks. Yeah, dude, yeah. garbage, man. No, I don't know. He's a really good 
I'll, I'll give him that. But I just, I'm just tired of the guy. I just don't want to see him. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, the crowd almost got back into it again with Dean Ambrose coming out. Yeah, for a minute. That for a minute they they they, they started getting into it. Um, especially when they thought Ambrose might get Rusev out a couple times. But uh, then, of course, what happens? Um, uh, Titus O'Neil comes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Titus O'Neil comes out, gets in the ring, and Titus O'Neil is gone. Uh, number 27. Oh. Bosh the spot. He was in the ring for three seconds and botched his fucking... He couldn't get himself over the ropes. No, of course not. The guy's... The, yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, I can't believe some of the people I hear talk about this guy, Titus O'Neil, on interviews. And they they make it out like this guy is the next coming of Hogan. Yeah, I mean, he seems like a really nice guy from his interviews, but he's... he's I don't know, man. From what I've seen, he's, he's pretty good. Great. I'm glad he's a nice guy. That's fucking awesome. He's great, awesome. He's funny, good. I don't want to see him on my TV. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to see the guy on my TV. Um, so number twenty-seven got some bad news for ya. There you go, man. Way looking skinny as ever. Dude, he is looking a little skinny, but uh, whatever. Uh, let's see. Twenty-eight is Cesaro. Does Wade Barrett have AIDS? Does he what? Does he have AIDS? Oh, I'm not going with that one. <laughs> uh, that's a question, man. I don't. Dude disappeared for a while. Yeah, he was hurt. I'm oh, not going. Right. He had a hurt shoulder, so he really couldn't do much working out. So he might have rushed yeah. back before he was uh, before he was toned up enough to come back. So. Yeah, I'm just messing around. I know. I ain't gonna say no one's got AIDS. That's that's fucked up. <laughs> so, yeah. Then we get to number twenty nine and thirty, Big Show and Ziggler. So there we go. Everyone's in the rumble. Now we can talk about all the good stuff that happened. Um Man. <laughs> Kane and Big, you know what? I really didn't mind Kane and Big Show working together the way they did. It did not bother me. It kind of made sense in the match how they did it. Um, no, it definitely makes sense. They're two big guys just throwing out little skinny guys, but it's just like. Yeah. And I thought I it was, know. I thought it was hilarious that they were just like throwing corpses out the ring, which is what they made it look like. I thought that was fucking hilarious for some reason. I was laughing my ass off. Yeah, I don't, it just dumps it on his head. But I was a little pissed off when they dumped out Dean. I think everybody was. <clears throat> that and the crowd started getting pissed. Ziggler went out. The crowd got more pissed. And as yeah. it came down to it, you knew and you knew it was going to happen. The only guy that was left was Reigns. With the well, they wanted Rusev. We were clearly chanting for Rusev, man. Right? You, I know, and I swear to God, I'm sitting there going, why are they chanting for Rusev? He's out already. But I guess he had rolled under the bottom row. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, and that was weird, man. People, <laughs> we want Rusev. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I had no clue why they were chanting that because I knew, I thought he was already gone. Yeah. Nah, man, it was it was weird. He got a he got a bloody lip or a bloody mouth. Do you know what where that was from? Reigns? Yeah. I don't know, but he he had a lot of blood on him at one point. Like I thought yeah. his whole face was bleeding for a second, and then it looked like it was just his mouth. Someone slapped the shit out of him. For a minute, I thought JBL got in the ring. Yeah, clothesline from hell. <laughs> That'd be something he would do, but I don't know. But he was. <laughs> He was down for a little while, so maybe that's what happened. Yeah. Well, I know I know. you said uh, you watched the videos with The Rock and Roman Reigns backstage, and they have a video prior to him you know, entering the, the Royal Rumble and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Now, that really just, just goes out to prove you know, our point that the guy's not ready. His 
he wasn't even cutting a promo. He was just talking regularly, and it was just not good, dude. It's just he was messing up a lot. There was a lot of awkward pauses in the middle. It's just like that's fine with a mid card guy or a lower card, but fuck, dude, this, you were sending this guy to WrestleMania. <laughs> I you know. know. It's... Like, can you imagine? Honestly, dude, no one's really mentioned this so far, but uh, WrestleMania main event, you want a good program, right? You want a good buildup? Is, isn't that essentially what you want? Mm-hmm. That's, that's the big seller, right? That's what sells people. That's what gets you emotionally invested is, is the fucking story. Okay. Uh, Brock Lesnar. Okay. He has a mouthpiece. Paul Heyman. Perfect. All right. Mm-hmm. So we're going to get Paul Heyman against Roman fucking Reigns. For like two months of build up? Are you kidding me? Yeah. It's gonna be brutal, dude. That's gonna be brutal. It is. It is gonna be brutal. I didn't even think about it like that. That just popped in my head, but that is that's actually I don't even know if they thought about that yet. But good luck. I mean shit. I don't know. I got that rock video right here that you posted though. Yeah. You wanna play it? Yeah. You ready? Yeah. One sec. Here we go. Let it load. Load, motherfucker. Load. I guess I should have loaded you before I played you. Here you go. All right, here we go in Philadelphia Post Royal Rumble. The Wells Fargo Center. The boys are breaking everything down. It was an amazing night. Philly, thank you so much for the love. Thank you for the electricity. They blew the hell out of my boy, but that's okay. Philly, one love. Family. You gotta give the rock credit. No, definitely, yeah. He's a good guy. But that's that's not the video I was talking about. There's another one. Um the one before I actually have it. I have it on the Facebook. I got it right here. Yeah. How long yeah, is that one? That one? How long? Is this is this after or before? No, it's after. I've got the after one with him and the rock right here. Yeah, yeah, play that one. Never one sec, let me let that one load up. By the way, folks, you can go and check it out on uh, Facebook.com slash group slash THC Podcast or just go to www.com. Either way. All right, this is give, us, give us a subscription. This is three minutes. You don't want to play the whole thing, do you? Oh, fuck it, dude. It doesn't matter. Well, you can... We, I'll tell you what. We can pause in the middle and make fun of it. Here. All right, that's fine. It's getting loaded up right now. Give me a second. Oh, is there a commercial? Oh, my God. Fucking smack that. Here we go. Roman Reigns. What an incredible night. I mean, Roman, you won the Royal Rumble Rock at your side, guys. How are you feeling? It's an incredible moment. Well, how do you think, how do you think I'm feeling? How do you think he's feeling? It, it, it is an incredible moment. Yeah, it's an incredible moment for you. What, what's happening right now, this is what we call a Samoan pancake. Yeah, and yeah, everybody likes that. The boys over there are laughing. And women pay good money for this, and you're getting it for free. Okay. Let's stop right there. What in the fuck is a Samoan pancake? What does he mean? Can you explain this to me? Yeah, you didn't get it? No? You didn't get it? No. Well, pancakes are stacked on top of each other. He was in between two Samoans. He was saying like a lot of girls would pay to be in between those two getting banged, and he was in between them, like a pancake. But but the guy's not in between them. He's standing to the left. Well, I don't know. Maybe they're just – well, I guess Roman Reigns and Rock next to each other, stacked on top. I don't know, pancakes, Samoan pancakes. I don't know what Samoan pancakes are. I, I, that's what I took from it. It's okay. Stacked next to each other. Girls okay. would win, um, whatever. All right, I was just asking for some help. Okay. What did you? Th- what did you think? I, I I really had no clue. That's why I asked you for help. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what I took from it. I don't okay. know. So, uh, all right, we'll uh we'll pause this again when I have another question. All right, all right sir. Okay, so we're starting from Samoan pancake. Samoan so, pancake. And ask the better question. All right, the man just won the Royal Rumble, so talk to him. Going to the Royal Rumble, you face Brock Lesnar. How can you take down the beast for the WWE World Title? You're jumping way ahead schedule right now. I'm in the moment tonight. Right, exactly. I'm in, man. You're getting fired. First of all, I have to show appreciation. (laughs) The Rock said you're getting fired. (laughs) That is not good. 
<laughs> You're fired. <laughs> they should fire that guy. That guy's kind of fucking. He's kind of cool. He All reminds right. me of like a young cool. That's probably why The Rock was messing with him. Oh, probably. Thank God he didn't run with young Kev, Kev, young Kevin Kelly. God damn. Yeah, I I used to love Rock messing with them too, man. That was oh. awesome. How many times did he call Kevin Kelly a hermaphrodite? God, so many wow. good times, good times. All right, that's, only... that's that's sports entertainment. That exactly. All right, let's see. We're, the... we're we're only forty five seconds into this goddamn video. Okay. When you're down and out, the odds are against you. You're, you're outnumbered. Who can you count on? Blood. The blood running through these veins. Family. Wait, hold on. What's... Man, that's fat. It's... Got it. Now, what is he, a blood gang member? Is that is Roman Reigns a gangster? Yes. You can only count on bloods because they're just... crip. They're yeah, crip. That's the crip fools, man. Can't hang, can't, can't hang with them crip fools. Got bloods. Bloods. Can't bang with the motherfucking crips. Believe that. And honestly, dude, oh, jeez. Damn, Gucci Man stopped by. Gucci Man. Crips and blood listeners, we're, we're just kidding around. We we like you both, I guess. Hell yeah. I watched that movie, <laughs> Colors. That shit's badass. I love that shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, there you go. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead and play the rest of this uh, clip. Yeah, before we get shot. Let's play the video. Before the Crips roll up on you and, and shoot the shit out. Because I wanted to <laughs> watch my family compete in the Royal Rumble. I came to Philadelphia because WWE is my family. I wanted to watch the Royal Rumble. I came to Philadelphia. I went oh, down. In Philadelphia, it's a city known for two things. Two kinds of cheeses. Cream and steak. So take that stupid look off your face. I will slap it off. The bottom <laughs> line is... is one second, man. <laughs> that's, that's retarded, man. <laughs> that was stupid as shit. And, and Roman Reigns is just standing there with this tough guy look on his face. I'm swear yeah. to God, this proves you to realize me. realize you referred to steak as cheese. Like, why are you acting like a tough guy, man? You can laugh about that. He's just fucking botched. Yeah. yeah, Roman Reigns just sits there looking like a tough guy. Now, I, I got to tell you, this proves to me Roman Reigns needs a mouthpiece. I'm sorry. Oh, he does, man. Put him, dude. Put him with Paul Heyman instead of Seth Rollins with Paul Heyman. I've got a way to put him with Paul Heyman. Oh, dude, maybe that's what they're doing. I've got Wrestle a way. Me. That's what I'm talking about. Turn. Yeah, dude, that would actually be that would actually be good. Heyman could I the imagine the next night on Raw? I knew Brock was on his way out the door, and I needed to be an yeah. advocate for someone who was here in this company. Oh my God! Yeah. It would be That'd great. Be good stuff, it would be great. WWE, if you are listening, take a note. Do something. But the thing is, the thing is it, it, we would only benefit after the after the fact. You know, it's like it's like the after effects of WrestleMania that would be good, which is like the slow time. So, I guess it'd be good for us. But WrestleMania would be shit though, because the fucking build up to it would be Roman Reigns against Paul Heyman, which Paul Heyman is fine, but you know. No, raised WrestleMania promos. No. Oh. Heyman turns on Brock. I know, but he's gonna have to turn on Brock at WrestleMania, right? Yeah. Yeah, what a, but what a better place. The, <clears throat> are you talking about him turning turning on Brock before WrestleMania? No, at WrestleMania, right in That's right at, into the match. Yeah, the build up to WrestleMania is gonna be shit though. I know, but... Yeah, well, that's what I'm talking about. But you know what? <clears throat> Honestly, at this point, I would prefer after WrestleMania to be a little better than... You know, I mean, it, it's just, you know, you get Mania, you get the night after Raw, and then it's back to shite. Yeah. This back to shite. Back to shite. This would at least keep me going, oh my God, what are they going to do? I can't believe Heyman turned on Brock Lesnar. Oh man, I wish I could I could say Brock's name like that right now. <laughs> Don't do it. You might not talk the rest of the show. Um, I know, man. I'm like losing my voice. Yeah, I I, I got to get a drop of him doing that Brock Lesnar thing. I'll get that later. 
Yeah. Um, well, it might be a little. He's probably leaving. Nah, I don't worry about it. But um, yeah, I. I, I don't worry. No, nah, I don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. But um, all right, let's go back to the video real quick. Now that uh, I, I'm, I'm serious though, Reigns needs a mouthpiece. He should just stand oh, yeah. and look tough. That's exactly yeah, so what he's doing. Exactly. Look, sit there in your flak jacket and look fucking tough. That's all you should they're be probably, doing. They're probably going to give him a Renee Young baby girl. Oh, God. Please don't. Come on, girl. All right. Let's go back to the video before I fucking throw up. Tear that ass up, baby girl. Believe it. Oh, back to the video before I start gagging. <laughs> how, how old was By the way, look, at the end of the day, all jokes aside, you know, this world of the WWE, the Royal Rumble, everybody loves the Royal Rumble, and it's hard to do. To compete in the Royal Rumble is a hard thing to do. So you got a guy like the Big Show, you got a guy like Kane, they go ahead and they, and they double choke slam him. So yeah, I'm going to come out. I would do it because I'm doing it the right thing. I'm doing the right thing for the right guy, but on top of that, again, it's about family. Family first. Now to your uh, okay. So now we're flashing back to all the Fast and Furious movies. Family. <laughs> family. Yeah. The movies are all about family. So okay. So now, now, The Rock and Roman Reigns pull up in Dom's Charger. What do you think? Next, next, next Raw. I shit, man. Give me anything to fix to clean this mess up. Vin Diesel comes out, Jack Tuck, motherfucker. Nah, I was gonna say, nah, that ain't gonna work. Fuck it. Back to the video. All right. Isn't Vin Diesel Brock Lesnar? Right now, I'm gonna take a moment to heal. I'm busted up. I'm bleeding everywhere. I need to go see the trainer. I need to heal up, and then I need to study some. T bleeding everywhere. Yeah, he's not bleeding. Bleeding <laughs> everywhere, also known oh. as from the mouth. <laughs> They're not even bleeding at the moment of the video. Just no. prior to the video. He's I'm he bleeding have, everywhere. He doesn't even have blood on his teeth. What motherfucker? Okay, back to the video. Sure. All right, we're almost two minutes in. We're almost done. All right. Okay, here we go. Hey, I'm going against the beast. Brock Lesnar. That's all that matters right now. WrestleMania. One goal. Walk out there, WWE. <laughs> well, wait. Uh, uh, there it is. Okay, I got it back again. Heavyweight champion, and you can believe that. You can believe that. Let me tell you something. What do you... you got to believe that, man. What? Oh, shit. Left. <laughs> I don't know what froze up for a second. What'd you say? I oh okay, that's why the video froze. Here we go. I will slap the lips off your face and make you kiss your own ass. Listen, <laughs> the, listen, guys, I'm doing a live interview. Stop laughing. Listen, the bottom line is this. Oh, but finally Roman laughed. So not only is he going into WrestleMania, okay, facing Brock Lesnar, the beast, a man who I have faced before in the past, but he's gonna whoop Brock Lesnar's that way. He's not around here, is he? He's a bad dude, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go in, and he's going to become WWE champion. Congratulations, Roman. Rock. Shut awesome your mouth. Ball. Listen, this is how we end the thing. If you're some Damn, male, The Rock would be a great. With The Rock and Roman. Yeah, I'm. Make manager for him. Green, bitches. Oh, yeah. Guys, stop laughing, okay? What The Rock is cooking. The Rock would be a great manager for him. Yeah, it would never happen, but it, yeah, definitely. No, it wouldn't, but yeah, it would be a great... Congratulations. What a great incredible manager. Oh, I mean, sorry, hold Roman, on. You, you want... Great manager for him, in my opinion. But no, it won't ever happen. He doesn't have the time. He doesn't have the time. Dude, guess how many, uh, guess how many views that uh, video got from the Rumble? What are we looking at? Throw a number out there. 8,520. It's at 11,064. Damn it. I was so close, yet so far away. That's not bad in uh, less than 24 hours, man. Yeah, not too bad, man. Good job, Shaheen. Way to go.
Well, good job, uh, Daniel Bryan, for for being a dick to us and getting us a uh, getting us a video. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, well, Daniel Bryan turned heel in Philly. Yeah, there's some. Uh, let's see. Let's um. Well, that would be that would be the one city to turn the fucking ultimate baby face heel. Yeah, it would. That would yeah. be. There yeah, you go, definitely. man. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know, man. I mean, I guess we can get into some of the news, uh, like some of the backstage reactions and all that good stuff. And let's see here. What do we got? Yeah, let's get into some of that. And then uh... WWE, let's see. Backstage reaction to the Royal Rumble backlash. Vince and WWE officials were legitimately surprised at the intensity of the backlash they saw. While WWE knew some fans would not be on board with Reigns winning the Rumble instead of Bryan, the feeling is that WWE painfully underestimated how they would react. According to Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer, they panicked early and changed a few things. So it even says The Rock was caught off guard by the situation. I don't know why. I mean, you see his face. I'm so, I mean, maybe you guys couldn't see it, but I. But when they showed that, all you saw on the Rock's face, like it was like, "Oh, they're really booing him? What the fuck?" But yeah. I don't know. I mean, honestly, dude, were you surprised? Absolutely not. Exactly. I mean, I knew this was going to happen. I mean, this, if they went with anybody other than Daniel Bryan or maybe Ambrose or Ziggler, they were going to boo him. I know. But that's why I kind of felt bad for The Rock, dude. I mean, he he he, he kind of got put in that Batista spot, you know. Dude, I'm telling you, maybe he came off on TV wrong, but in in person, man, people were not booing booing The Rock. When he came out, he got a huge pop, and all I heard was a was the pop until he left. When he got out the ring, that's that's when the boo started. You know? I don't know. Yeah, how it came off, but I, I mean, don't think people were booing The Rock though. Well, there was a big backlash. I mean, obviously, there was a huge backlash. Well, just, um, literally, they crashed the cancellation website last night. They yeah. crashed. I mean, that's going pretty far. Like you said, I'm not canceling my subscription. There's no way in hell I'm going to do it. It's just there's too, there's too much. Okay. I don't like what I saw last night. If I want to watch what I like, it's probably on the network. Exactly. Dude, honestly, as much as I, I you know, criticize WWE and wrestling on here, they probably have my money for the rest of my life. Even if I stop watching the current product, like I'll probably just, you know, watch some other shit on it. It's fucking ten bucks, man. Come on. Mm-hmm. But I, I get yeah. the point though. I support it. that's what you want to do. I one hundred percent I back you on that. That's that's good. We gotta, we gotta, you know. Honestly, man, I'm trying. I'm, this, this has to be a movement, man. People, people gotta start speaking up and fucking, you know. Uh, again, I'm not, I'm not promoting fucking violence in the parking lot and all that bullshit. But if, hey, oh, if real reaction, fucking, fucking boo these guys, man. If you don't want to see them and they're feeding you bullshit, boo these guys. Yeah, hold on, I got something. Not necessarily, Reigns, not necessarily Reigns. I mean, I feel bad for the guy. I don't, I don't hate Reigns. I just think he was in a bad position. I think he's not ready. But I actually think he's a good guy. I think he's talented. I don't think he's bad. But, you know, some other guys like Cena, fucking Big Show, all these guys, they're trying to feed us again, man. Fuck it. Boo these guys. Oh, yeah. I agree. It's the only way, man. It's the only way. They don't, you know, they've, they've we've given, honestly, the fans have given them fucking how many years of, of fucking chance after chance after chance after chance, and it's the same shit they never learned. So the, you got you to gotta hit them uh, where it hurts, and that's essentially their pockets. So if the network... Cancellations is, is, is going to work. Is if that's what it takes, fuck it, do it. I'm with you, man. We got to see change, man. This is like, uh, you know, it's not as important like the fucking you know Ferguson situation and all that sad stuff on the news. But hey, man, we got to make a change, regardless, man. Change everywhere. That's it, man. Healthcare, make- government, fucking wrestling, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, give me one sec here. I'm going to pull up this uh, report I said I would read. 
about the uh, fans that were outside the parking lot last night. Um, let's see. It says once one guy was banging the Usos car with with uh, with his souvenir metal folding chair from the floor seats. Uh, it says, and Uso got out and yelled, come on, man, this ain't no wrestling shit, let's go. People were cheering and laughing at the dumb, at the, it says, at the idiot who ran away with the chair. Um, let's see, Curring Fandago, the fan. Another guy set up his chair directly in front of Fandango's car. Yeah, I saw that. Okay, that you saw. Uh, the same guy I, put I, his... I, Stuff though. I didn't see that. You didn't see that? No, I didn't see the Usos at all. Okay, and this is when the I was already the, in my car. Like I was, I was, you know, I was, I was trying to get the fuck out. This is when somebody was slamming a Hulk Hogan poster against the passenger side, yelling, "Welcome to Philly! Hulk Hogan rules the universe. This is Philly, and you ain't shit. We don't like WWE's bullshit." Well, that's that's like a fucking. That sounds like a, a, a that that sounds like a girl. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say that sounds like the ultimate mark, man. I, uh, Philadelphia has officially disowned whoever that that guy is. Yeah. Oh, by the way, girl. the same guy set up the chair in front of JBL, who had Byron Saxton in his car. JBL swerved around him, blaring his horn and laughing. <laughs> yeah, JBL, I'm not gonna see that. I didn't see that one either. Only one I saw was Fun Dunn. Yeah, but then it said some of the wrestlers. I saw, I saw uh, that that uh, the fucking diva. What's her name? Paige. No, uh, but oh, I saw Paige too. But nobody really gave her any problems. She got by. They they said she was fine. She opened her window, slapped hands with fans. She was good. Ryback was fine. Cameron was fine. They said rolled down her window and stopped and talked to people and was very cool. That's what I was talking about was Cameron. Cameron. Okay, they said uh oh, this. Uh, Cody Rhodes and uh, his wife and Lillian and Tyson and Natty just waved politely. Uh, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, Eric Rowan, who was uh, in the who had Ms. Dow in his passenger seat. They said they just kind of stone faced and drove away, and uh, that was it. But uh, yeah, just so it looks like just a few fans are being douchey. Yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? Um, let's see. A lot, of people, a lot of people talk, you know. There was, there was a lot of talks of people. You know. Yeah, I mean, we've been talking about the Rumble for, what, two and a, almost two and a half hours now, so I don't really have much more on it. Yeah. Um, although JTG posted something funny on Twitter. Fans... It says it's it's in horrible grammar. I'm not even sure if it's the real JTG, but this is funny. Fans has come to terms on the release of the WWE Network as of today. The fans wishes the WWE Network the best in all of its future endeavors. That's amazing. Yeah, that was pretty That's wrestling. Good. That's it. That was pretty funny. Um, How pop do you think JTG would get if they, if they brought his ass back? That would be great. Uh, um, speaking of someone who uh, someone who wasn't in the Rumble for the reason they quit the company, Justin Gabriel reportedly quit oh, yeah. WWE. Yeah. Uh, I got a question for you. Do you think Bubble Ray Dudley is going to be? Uh, do you think he's going to be like doing other appearances? From what I read, it was a one-off. This one time, but uh, you never know. WWE changes their mind, you know. Because I actually saw that Dudley Boys were advertised for uh, pro wrestling syndicate shows. That's so that kind of led me to believe that they're probably not under a contract with WWE. Probably not. They're probably just doing a little kind of a quick yeah. thing. That's cool though, man. It was it was cool. I enjoyed it. It, it was good to see you. It was good to see him out there, man. He uh, looked look, look, look pretty good. So, I'm honestly surprised they didn't have uh, Rob Van Dam, Chris Jericho, and Randy Orton. Those were like three I, I expected. And I'm actually happy they didn't bring him out. I expected. Uh, I think everyone expected RVD, especially in Philly. 
but no, yeah. I brought him out. Dude, so fucking Sabu would have been fucking cool. So yeah, that would have been actually cool. So uh, yeah, that would have been a good thing. But um, I don't know, man. What else we got here? Any other news before we log on out of here? I've got uh, top indie star, CZW star, Biff Busick was at a yeah. trial. Looks like he was at the tryout last week um, or the, uh, this weekend. So he may get signed. I guess we'll see. I know you said you knew of this guy. so Yeah, yeah. yeah he's all right. There's, um, apparently uh, DJ Hyde, the owner of CZW, is pretty pissed about this, which I don't understand. It's like, well, what the fuck do you want the guy to do? You know? hmm. Do you want him to roll around in, in fucking light tubes at Cage of Death, or do you want him to sign uh, to NXT? Uh, I don't know. You choose. Yeah. One as much as I love CZW, by the way, I'll be at the CZW show in February. Um, that should be a good time. Uh, February and then also in March, we'll be doing the House of Hardcore. So we'll be doing a cookout again if you guys want to come and join the hot tag cookout like we had at the Royal Rumble. Unfortunately, Boxman's in Texas, so he can't join us. But I'll be there. We'll have a bunch of other people there. So it's good stuff. Mm hmm. So, well. I got a couple of things I posted on Facebook. I don't know if you want to go through them or not. One of them yeah, is the 10 controversial canceled WWE moments. All right. Posted this the other day. A couple Wait, what moments? Canceled, controversial canceled WWE moments. Okay. Did you read this one the other day? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, it's on the Facebook. You want me to repost it or something? or? No, I just won't find it. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I got this on the same computer. I can post this right in our little chat in the uh, in our Google here. Ready? Yeah, post it. Yeah. Yep. There you go. All right. Oh, it's going to be under the one I already posted. Shit. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, they're two different ones. Okay. That's a weird title. Ten controversial canceled WWE moments. It's weird. Well, let's go through this. Why not? We got a we we got a little time to kill. You said you ain't got to go nowhere tomorrow, and I got to be. Um, bro, I'm I'm fucking snowed in, man. We got a blizzard, so <laughs> I'm not going nowhere. Nice. Nice. Well, this is basically some things that were kind of out there and WWE canceled because of whatever it was. Whether it was backlash from from media or just, God, this is horrible. Uh, yeah, exactly. Number 10, Edge being deaf mute. Obviously, Vince Russo had an idea that Edge should be a deaf mute. <laughs> yeah, Vince is. <laughs> yeah. Boy, Vince Russo. I was talking about. Russo, man. This, this, if this is true, wow. Um, you know, I, I, honestly, Edge wasn't great in the ring. His talking made him a lot better than he was, in my opinion. And I'm not dissing Edge. I like Edge. But, uh... Yeah, man. Huh? I thought he was really good in the ring. I thought he was decent in the ring, but I think he was a, a smaller guy who, if he couldn't cut the promos he could and talk like he could, he probably wouldn't have got the shot he did. Well, the TLC gimmick also helped a lot. It helped a lot, yeah, definitely. But uh, no, Edge, I got, I got no problem with him. But God, to such a good talker to make him a deaf mute, God damn. And I do like that they got the uh, Lita thing up here. God damn, that's a nice look on Lita. Mm, mm, mm. Anyway, you know what else would be fun before we get out of here? Banging Lita. Well, yeah, that would be really fun. But uh, we can we can hot tag Lita. Um, but, uh, <laughs> Go on the we can go on the video and on on some of the dirt sheets that, that posted our video and uh read some of the crazy comments and and respond to them in case any of the folks are listening I can respond to you directly and put you in your place. 
Ooh, we could do that too. Let's go through these quick. Um, number nine, CM Punk versus Triple H at WrestleMania 30. Uh, I guess that was supposed to happen, but uh, it was controversial, obviously, because of Punk's exit. Right. He's already having troubles with staph infection and blah, 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 so obviously right. that was a quick one, so we can get through that one pretty yeah. quick. Let's get to some of the weird ones. Number eight, Stephanie McMahon's own Kiss My Ass Club. Whoa. Yeah, I never existed. Exactly. Um, it looks like she was supposed to start her own Kiss My Ass Club, and it was when um, Eric Bischoff was there and had the team of Rosie and Jamal. Uh, yeah. Supposed to have a match with Rosie and Jamal versus Chuck and Billy, and Bischoff was going to lose and have to kiss Stephanie's ass, and basically did not do it wasn't happy and refused to let his team lose. That's weird, man. Vince Vince fucking McMahon is a, is a weird, weird yep. man. And it that also... Is a, wait man. a minute. Chris Jericho was then decided to be the first member of the club, but Stephanie shot down the angle. Oh, so she, she just wanted, like, Bischoff? Yeah, she basically just wanted Bischoff to kiss her ass. And you know what? I probably would have done so that's just, uh, I might the whole family is fucking egomaniacs. I mean, rightfully so, though. They kind of deserve it. I mean, I don't know about her, but I mean, Vic McMahon, I can understand because he, he, he built it from the ground up. But, you know, I I don't know, man. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand why she needs to hold a grudge against fucking Bischoff. It was business, man. Yeah. You know, everybody would say, oh, well, they, well, they wanted to put us, out, put us out of business. Well, fuck, dude. It's, you know, survival tactics, man. Fucking kill or be killed. There you go, man. But um, yeah, I agree. But uh, let's see. We go to number seven now, right? Let's see. Seven is Muhammad Hussein Hassan. Excuse me, <laughs> Muhammad Hassan. God damn, was that a slip? Yeah. Can we can we get to pronounce some some Japanese names next week for fun? No, please don't. <laughs> Please, you have to do some New Japan news next week so you can pronounce some of these I'm, names. I'm, I'm, a, I'm just a fucking little Jewish dude from Texas. I can't pronounce those fucking names, dude. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Oh, You're lucky I can pronounce I, all the words I can. I don't even know Jewish people who existed in fucking Texas. There's not many of us, but uh, we're here. Um, Muhammad Hassan becoming the heavy, the youngest heavyweight world heavyweight champion. Um, this was obviously post 9/11, but when the London bombings took place in 05, um, WWE got WWE got a little backlash from some of the media, so they decided to uh, just take it off TV basically, and he was pretty much gone. I think that year. Yeah. I mean, I can understand why they did this, but at the same time, I kind of feel bad for the guy because, you know. You got to feel bad for the guy. He was told one thing, but uh, it was also a little bit on them for having such a gimmick like that right after 9-11. So what are you going to do? Yeah. Do you remember when they had, like, the, the fucking terror guys come out and attack the Undertaker and all that stuff? Yeah. I, yeah. But uh, It was kind of ridiculous. I mean, this this is the same company that did the stuff in '91 with Hulk Hogan and Sergeant Slaughter, which I I thoroughly enjoyed with the Gulf War. I didn't mind that. Yeah, I did too. I totally enjoyed that shit. So, so we go on to number six, and I would have liked this one, a uh, homosexual Maurice. Why would you like this man? If if she was a homosexual, you would never be able to bang her. Then I don't care. Nothing like it. Just would have been nice. Um, it was just basically too graphic for the PG audience, and uh, it was in 2008, so they decided to get rid of it. Um, meanwhile, Maurice still, uh, still used her seductive pins on uh, even without the gimmick. So I don't know. Obviously, they liked it because uh, she definitely had a good career. 
Yeah, I don't. I don't recall. But uh, that's fine. You don't have to. <laughs> so, usually, God, you know, damn these ads. I usually get cricket noises when it comes to the divas. All right. Uh, number five, China as WWE champion. That's right. That woman with the giant clit, China. Wow. Uh. <laughs> or, or the mini dick. Right, mini dick, whatever you want to call it. Um, she had even uh, China even in 1999. China had got the number one contender spot at SummerSlam, and was supposed to face Steve Austin. But due to what happened with China and Stephanie, other problems ensued, and she was gone from the company. I mean, I guess it's kind of safe to say that Triple H pretty much kind of ruined China. I guess you could say that. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's one of the main reasons she got depressed and on all these drugs and antidepressants and all that stuff, so it could be. There could be a lot of things. Who knows? I'm mean, not sure there's more to it, but I mean, think about it, man. I mean, if that happened to you and that kind of take you, especially if you're like a, like a female, which you know they tend to be a bit more emotional than us. So I don't know. I guess I don't know, man. If I was Triple H, that would probably haunt me down and fucking karma will get you. Uh, I don't think he's thinking about it. I think all he's thinking about is uh, money, Stephanie's giant fake boobies, and um, that's about it. Yeah, take Steph's tits go against the laws of uh, gravity. Taking over this giant conglomerate called WWE. Yeah. I guess, yeah. Yeah, he's in good hands. So this is rape angle. Oh, Jesus. This is a weird one because it was with Melina. And in 2006, they had a real fling. Um, but what happened was Melina actually did accuse Batista of raping her backstage. And it kind of got cut off after that, and Melina was gone soon after that. Yeah, wasn't uh, wasn't Batista banging Molina when she was with uh, John Morrison? According to a lot of people, she was banging a lot of guys, and John Morrison allowed it. Man, what a you know, like he was into it, or he was just just didn't care. By the way, speaking of speaking of that being like a cockhole guy, um, <laughs> you know what. Uh, yes, I do. I, I I watch porn. I mean, I've I've seen it on. Uh, I've heard Jim Norton talk about it on Opie and Anthony. Yeah, but that's that's like weird, like fucking weird porn. But uh, fucking did you did you guys? I don't know if it if it got on TV. Did you guys see the fucking cockled uh, Cena sign? <laughs> no. Oh my god, dude! It was right at the front. I wish I. Had. It was right in the beginning of the show. They had to they had to take it down. It wasn't. It wasn't right at the at the hard camera angle. It was to the right where uh, like uh, Jerry Lawler and, and they would be sitting. No, I never saw that. But I'm gonna I'm gonna have to play it back and look for it now. <laughs> Poster. I'll have to look for that now. Yeah, it was actually in the first uh, few rows too. So I don't know if they got it on camera, but you should be able to see it because it was it was up there for a couple uh, for a couple minutes and then it kind of disappeared. So I'm guessing they went and got it. I'm sure they went and took it. I'll I'll see if I can find it. That's fucking hilarious. Cockold Cena. That should be his new name, man. Cockold Cena. That's fucking greatness right there, dude. Uh, <laughs> Cockold Cena. Fuckboy Cena. There you go. All of them. Just put them all together. Fuckboy Cockold. Fuckboy Cockold Cena. John, bro. John Hero is the new one. Yeah, there you go. I like John Hero. Meanwhile, that sounds more like a porn star than a wrestler. It actually does. Yeah. It actually does. You should save that name for for your porn career. There you go, man. There you go. Um, all right, on to number three then. Uh, we know about this one. Vince McMahon's incest angle with Stephanie. Oh, yeah, this is weird. We've talked about this before. We really don't need to get into it, so we'll just skip over to number two. Number two... Stacy Keebler's B. 
baby. Uh, Stacy Kubler, known for shooting temperature. She announced she was pregnant in 2000. She announced she was pregnant. Oh, I remember this angle. It was David Flares, who was her boyfriend. Other culprit was Buff Bagwell. They were about to do a DNA test, but never went through with it. I do remember this now. Wow, this was in 2000. Angle was scrapped. No one mentioned it. It was. It was. It. It. It just was ridiculous. So, if this wasn't ridiculous enough, the remaining plan was to reveal Ric Flair as the father. Woo! Yeah. And you're gonna bleed all night long. Woo! You all right there, Sheen? I am absolutely fine. You're pretty. You're you're just dying tonight. Um, let's see. Well, Number I, I would like to, I want to do the woos, but I can't. I can't do it like I usually do. Thanks to the Royal Rumble, because I have no voice now, so I can't really scream and yell. You're all good. So, dude. folks, I know. I know there's. I know there's a bunch of new uh, listeners that are going to be listening to this, but uh, yeah. So if the energy's a little bit low, you got to bear with us, man. The Royal Rumble kind of took me down. Don't worry about it, because we have number one, the number one most controversial thing. <laughs> Vince McMahon's fake death. Yes. When he was blown was up in the limousine in 2007, and we all know... Now, the idea for that was to reveal Mr. Kennedy as the guy behind the explosion. Really? Yes. I did not know that until I read this article. So sometimes these stupid articles actually have something of meaning to them. Yeah. That's pretty cool, though. So, and as we all know, Chris Benoit kind of ruined this whole angle by doing what he <laughs> Ruin the angle. Let's let's he well he did because oh, Vince didn't come out a lot more than that fucking angle. Fuck that angle. Chris Benoit is a I don't look, man. Know, I don't, I don't, nastiness I don't want to bash Chris Benoit again because last time I did it, we lost like half our. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine. Trust me. You did. You Chris Benoit apologists. Yeah, and I've got. Uh, I've got another list if you want to go through it, but if you don't... List of what? I've got another, a different list of 12 acting jobs you had no idea wrestlers took on. All right, go ahead. All right. Did you know Dolph Ziggler was in Shallow Hell? I did not. I did not either, but he was in Shallow Hell... He was uh, in a he was a nightclub. He was he's in the background in a in a scene in a in a nightclub. Man, he must have been really young. Must have been because that was uh, let's see. He was twenty one. Yeah. Twenty one years old. It says. So there you go. He was an extra in the movie. Uh, Sable, uh, Mrs. Brock Lesnar, was in the movie Corky Romano. Really, I've seen that movie. That's a terrible movie. Oh God, Chris Kattan is bull, horrible. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah. Like, let me see here. Yeah, she had a part. She was a female bouncer that wouldn't let Chris Kattan into a club. Yeah, I don't recall that. Yeah. Now some of these are very that we already know. Uh, Randy Orton was in That's What I Am. That was a John Cena movie, if I'm not mistaken. I think everyone knew he was in that with Ed Harris. Oh wait, that wasn't a John Cena movie. That was the Ed Harris movie. That okay, I knew Randy was in this. It was a WWE film movie. Yeah, I can't say I've seen it. Tristratus, a movie called Bale Enforcers. I knew about this when she was in it. Is it a porn? No, I'm sorry. See. I'm sorry. It was actually called Bounty Hunters after it uh, re after it previewed at the um, Independent Films Festival. So it was 2011. Who knows? 
Uh, let's see, Rob Van Dam, Black Mask Two. That was a Jet Li movie. Uh, this Wasn't was a. a what was that? Wasn't uh, Batista in that one too? I know Rob Van Dam has a movie with uh, Batista. This one? No, I don't. I don't think he was. Yeah, maybe a different one. He might have been. Yeah, there have been a couple of these. This, 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 this is obviously the second since there's a two behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, damn it! My shit just locked up. Didn't lock up. I got a ad. Okay. God damn it. Screw the internet. God damn it. Internet is killing me. Yeah. Triple H was actually on the Drew Carey show once. I did not know that. Yeah, I don't recall that either. When was I, that? That was, what, like 98? Uh, let's see. That was 1999. I do remember this. You know what? I do remember this now. He was called the disciplinarian. I do remember this. It took me a minute. Um, number six, Sting. He was in a movie called The Encounter. Is it an old movie, new one? What year is it from? 2010. Mm, sounds like a horror movie. You, it's 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 not. It's a Christian film. Okay. And What's from that, and from that movie, we're gonna. I don't even want to talk about it. Shawn Michaels did an episode of Baywatch. Yeah, I I remember. I mean, I've never seen it, but I remember like on uh, Raw they used to promote that like back in the mid nineties. All right, that was in 1996. Kevin Nash, uh, Teenage, Mutant, Mutant, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. Uh, he was Shredder. I think everyone knew that, right? Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Oh, okay, he was Shredder. Uh, Austin was on Dilbert one time, the, um, the cartoon. Yeah, he was also on a... Uh... What was that show that used to come on USA? That garbage ass show, fucking something Nashville. Hmm. Not um. Not Nashville. Less the guy's last name was Nash, wasn't it? Yeah, I don't know something. I forget. I I totally know what you're talking about, but I can't remember the name of the show. Yeah, I know China was on like uh. Sabrina, the, the teenage witch, and on something else. Yeah, uh, let's. Yeah, you're right. Um, let's see. The Rock was on Star Trek Voyager. Yeah, I remember that. You do? I don't remember that, but uh, yeah, it was oh, in. Uh, uh, I know it was WWE actually did a special on that. Either WWE or like MTV or something. I remember somebody did a special on it, like a little. 15 minute behind the scenes when they were putting all those special effects on his face. Not special effects, the, the makeup effects. Huh. And the number one is John Cena in Ready to Rumble. I actually oh. knew he was in it. He was in it? He had a very small part. If you look behind when they're in the gym with Goldberg, you can see Cena with his... Uh, Prototype haircut in the background, working out on a on a uh, machine. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather not. Yeah, I. What, what are some other ones that they missed? Do you recall any other ones? Other than like you know, of course, Hulk Hogan and fucking Rowdy Piper and They Live. Yeah, and th that's what it said. It, it was trying to do some of the odd ones that you might not know. I mean, some of them are obvious. Yeah, I mean, all those. I mean, you know. Rocky Three, Hogan, and yeah, there there's probably not many that none of us know about. Uh, there's that uh, one on Boy Meets World. Um, Vader was on there. Vader had a had a, a a pretty big part on that show at one point. I think he was on there for a little while. Yeah. Also, uh, King Kong Bundy on uh, uh right. Married with Children. Do you realize that that guy was a huge wrestling fan, right? Who? Yeah, he's fucking. He named the character Bundy. 
Okay, that and their neighbors were the roads. Yeah. Dusty roads. Yeah, I was talking about this. Uh, one of the shoe salesmen was named Ventura. Where I wonder where that came from. That's yeah. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's a really underrated show. That's a good show. There you go. If you were in the chat room right now, you'd be able to see that body posted a picture of uh, John Cena in the Ready to Rumble movie. Oh, man. I'm going to have to go see it. <laughs> I am curious. All right. So you had you wanted to read some of your wonderful, wonderful comments. Let me respond to some of them. You sure you want to do that? I don't know, man. You can choose some. I don't really. I I just you know. Well, no. I'd rather you do it. Go for it, man. Do that. No, that, shit. Would, that would be kind of stupid if I read the comment and answer myself. Well, you're gonna you choose. Comments. You choose some wild comments that you like and and. Hold on, I'm looking for it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll I'll try to find some interesting ones that may not be. Just totally out there. There you go. There we go. Let me find this motherfucker now. All right. We got. Here it is. Man, you might need to take this show over. This third beer is starting to make me have to piss. Clearly, somebody doesn't understand the concept of kayfabe. Again. Who, me? No, I can oh. see Daniel Bryan following Punk's footsteps. I hope not. Philly really blocked wrestling people from leaving. What the fuck, Philly? I know they like wrestling, but that seems a little overboard, which I agree with. Yeah. My God, 837 comments. Jesus, what did you start, you motherfucker? I don't know, dude. Quit. Daniel Bryan should quit while he is still noteworthy. If he waits too long, he'll become Curtis Axel. I don't think so. Nah. I don't know, man. Pick a couple real quick. I'll tell you what. You think you could pick a couple while I went and squeezed out a quick piss? Yeah. yeah I'll, <clears throat> I'll take over for a couple minutes. Then I will go back here and turn my camera on so you know when I'm back. I'll, just, I'll mute my mic and you'll know when I'm back. I'll be right back. Uh, All right. Well, we got Rich uh, Gossip. All right, well, we got Rick and Gothic saying, uh, Philly has different culture. They're not perfect. I met people from Philly. I have to say these people are not very friendly individuals. What I experience from their opinions is very strong. So please don't fuck with Philly. Otherwise, you will get beat up very badly regardless who you are. That's East Coast to me, eh? Born and raised in Texas right here. Maybe I should have waited for a uh, box man to comment on this since he's from Texas. But... No, I don't. I don't believe so, man. I don't. I don't think all Philly people are fucking just, you know, belligerent drunk assholes that are, you know, just waiting to fucking fight. Um, wrestling soup says, uh, <clears throat> thanks, dude. Good stuff. Thank you guys for uh, retweeting it. Wrestling soup, check them out. I believe they're on every Thursday. Um, definitely good stuff, man. Check them out on iTunes and all that good stuff. Um. Josh Purcell, hashtag fuck Philly. All right, Josh Purcell, hashtag fuck you too, my friend. Uh, Brian's going to quit CM Punk 2.0. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, I hope he is pissed. They fucked up. He should have won. Yeah. Yeah. Just subscribed. I want to hear those details of what happened with the crowd reactions. Shitting all over the bullshit show. Well, I hope you're listening now. If you're not, you can listen to it on iTunes. You can listen to it on Stitcher. THT Wrestling Podcast. Go check it out. Um, we do it weekly, so we always we always get into some good wrestling stuff. Uh, moron, Bob Cook. Fuck you too, sir. Uh, sorry you paid to see that, bro. Don't don't be don't be sorry, Alex Robin. Yeah, subscribe. That's good, man. Thanks. Appreciate it. Uh, don't be sorry, man. I had, I had a great time. I had a great time. I don't regret it. 
Um, paid two hundred bucks, but I enjoyed my time, man. It was it was a great time. Don't regret one minute of it. <sighs> I feel like um, man. Do you? Oh man, that third beer went through me pretty quick. I'm good now. Man, we got a, we got a bunch of fucking Philly bashing here, man. So I just kind of been going through that. Philly is a shithole. <laughs> fucking hashtag fuck Philly. Once again, I already went over this one, but once again, Josh Purcell says hashtag fuck Philly. So Josh Purcell, hashtag fuck you too, sir. Once again, um, man, just a bunch of dudes just shitting on Philly, man. It's pretty much. It is what it is. Yeah, let's see that. Let's see what else we got here. I'm I'm looking down some of these. Christopher, Christopher Brown. Oh, I like this. Kevin Dunn happened. He's a piece of absolute shit. I agree with you. That, that that is probably what happened actually. <laughs> yeah. Screw job, I think it's pretty hard to get a screw job on a rumble. I mean wrestlers most likely gotta jump over the third rope themselves to get eliminated. I don't think it's a screw job. I, like I said, I think the guy is just really disappointed. That's basically, you know, what I think now. Um a lot of people just kinda of bring up a triple threat. Kinda of <laughs> glancing over here. Yeah, I don't know, man. Do you think that's going to happen? I don't know. I don't want to see that. No, they're talking about the triple threat from um, from last night. Oh, yeah. That was awesome. The IWC on Bleacher Report are retarded. Okay. Uh -oh. Give me that. Gabrius, Gabrius Langdon. Yeah, I was near where you were sitting. He didn't look very happy at all. So there's another person in this. Death Arctic, just put a dick. So, what? <laughs> Wait a minute, what? Who? Who? Death Arctic, this guy just put a dick that says my dick. Okay, I guess. I took you a long time to draw that out, man. So, that's why I'm shouting you out here. You definitely put in some time. Unless you just copy and pasted it. In, in case we did that, then you're just a dick. Oh, you were a dick. Where you were looking. Give him that button, man. Give him that button. He deserves it. This guy, Death Arctic, you, sir, my friend. Dick! There you go. On season four of Total Divas, Daniel Bryan. Yeah, man, he's been on, like, every season. One guy got a picture of him coming out. He does look a little a little pissed. Dude, I'm telling you, man, he was right in front of us. He was fucking pissed as shit. He, well, he wasn't kayfabe, man. I know, I've been watching wrestling forever, man. I know what the fuck kayfabe is. Yeah, I look. go to shows all the time, dude. This is not my first time seeing wrestlers. He came off like a real uh, big Solomon thirty three. He came off like a like a like a, an asshole. He really came off like an asshole. I'm not a Brian fan, but really, that's rich because I find that person is coming off like a self entitled bag of douche. Hmm. Yeah. So I guess I'm not the only one that that saw him being a dick. So there you go. Guess not. Yeah. Um, thank you for telling us about it. I was there back by WrestleMania sign, but couldn't see from that where we were. Thank you again, Sean Foster. You're welcome, sir. I hope you subscribed. I hope you enjoy it. Daniel Bryan sucks. I don't know how you can say that. Jason BB. When your name is BB. <laughs> so that, that's kind of self explanatory. I don't really need to say much. Dude, the rumble was just so disappointing to me, and all this internet backlash, it was crazy in the wrong way. I agree, man. They kind of had the backlash. I mean, they, they saw it from a mile away, man. They knew this was going to happen. I just, I don't know, man. You internet nerds are sad. Um, I don't think I'm an internet nerd at all, but uh, I'm not sad at all, sir. So RD Chili 69 I don't know, man. Anybody that has a fucking name with 69 and chili and no picture of themselves, eh, can't take you too serious, man. <laughs> Big D. Man, you gotta... I'm on board now. Well done, effort, and thanks for the info. I guess he subscribed, so thank you for that. Appreciate that. I don't know about that name, though. Big D, man. That's kind of scary. Hey. I like Big D. You like big, big dick, man? No, 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 no. My, see, my, my, no, no, no. My name is David. Remember? Oh well, that's he's talking about Big D, like he has a big dick. No, he's not. He just said his name was Big D. It doesn't mean anything. It could his Maybe. name David also? 
Well, everybody refers to D as like, well, everybody refers to Dick as D now. So that's, well, I, don't, I guess that's where he's going. You know, I mean, my last name is Richardson. People used to call me Dixon just because my last name was Richardson. Cool. That's all right. Brian needs to leave the WWE and retire. He has nothing left to prove. Why? Well, he's he's actually one of the first people that ever subscribed to us. The anti T Bone two thousand and four. Um, I have to disagree with you, man. I think he has a lot to actually prove. Um, Let's see. Yeah. Someone just replied a few seconds ago. Read Mike Johnson's comments on this news, and that sets all this straight. So let's go to Mike Johnson is a PW portrait. Um, wrestling. Mike Johnson, hot dog guy. The what? House of Horror. He's the hot dog guy at the House of Horror. <laughs> Stuffs his hot dogs. He's PW Insider, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Let's see here. Let me jump over to this. The show was amazing until Daniel Bryan got eliminated. Absolutely agree. Daniel Bryan has a very small ego. I don't know how you would know that, but I guess. <laughs> if Brian quits because of this bullshit that happened, I don't blame him. Fuck WWE and fuck Vince. I hope WWE crashes and goes broke. What happened last night was a fucking insult to wrestling fans. <laughs> the Void 99. The same thing happened to the Bret Hart and to the Bret Hart at Royal Rumble. Nice. To the Bret Hart. I like that. Of course right. he was just as he should. Yeah, that's honestly, I think that's that's pretty much what it is. It's just you know, it's not like he got screwed. It's, he knew he was getting out, but he's probably just pissed because he knows the outcome is shit. He's probably pissed just like anybody else. So probably he didn't look very happy at all. Again, Daniel Bryan sucks. Why all these Daniel Bryan sucks in fucking comments? <laughs> So what does a uh, PW Insider have to say? I'm reading it right now. I'm trying to see if there's anything. He has a whole thing on the um, <clears throat> how and why. How and why everything went so badly wrong for WWE last night at the Rumble. But it's very long, and I'm not going to read all this right now. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Let's see here. So, Long paragraph. Daniel Bryan comments. Let's see. No, I don't see where he... Nah, I got a fucking ad on this site somewhere. These goddamn internet ads, you sons of bitches. Yeah, you. I'll, um... I don't know. Maybe I'll post that real quick on the Facebook so I can read it later. Mm, that's cool, man. That's what I'll do. Let me see. Got any, uh, let's go to WrestleZone. Let's see some of the comments from there. You know you fucked up when the comments and most humble guy in the, locker, in the locker room is pissed off. That is probably true. It's yeah. his fault he sucks and doesn't deserve it. Wow. Wow. Whom else could they be mad at? It's only his own fault. Yeah. Yeah, it's his fault. It, yeah, yeah, he books his shit. Yep. Blame him. Wow, man. Some of these comments. Jesus Christ. Fucking killing my brain cells, man. Yeah, here we go. There you, I, I just like, you comprehend the fucking how wrestling works? Like, they don't... Jesus. Vanilla midget. <laughs> <laughs> they f this guy is sad. Look, they finally broke him. Dot, dot, dot. Man. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Dad, not being sarcastic, but I sympathize with Brian. He makes a wish kid. What he makes a? I think he means he he meets a make a wish kid. I think that's what he means. But that's not what he says. And father dies. He has surgeries and he works finger to bone to make a return at the Rumble and gets a job or elimination. Oh my God! You know, wrestling fans should you know use Google um, Word. <laughs> Probably word. I put it in word first. 
you know, a little spell checking, um, you know, you know, just just gonna throw that out there. Spell check, people. Spell check. I like you, Ruiz Lip Tiger. That kind of scares me. Last three years, they were correct. I don't recall the rumors. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I don't know where the hell you are on this page, but there are a lot. <laughs> a lot. You got like, <laughs> you got a lot of. This thing's a pretty. God damn, there's a lot of replies. Yeah. I think in all the sites, there's probably like. I don't even want to a lot of them have comments, though, so. Hashtag cancel WWE Network. You are a moron who pays for crappy content. Are you on Wrestling Inc.? No, I'm on WrestleZone. Oh, okay. That's why, that's why we're not at the same spot. <laughs> moron who pays for crappy content. Okay, so I'm a moron who pays for crappy content, but yet you're on a wrestling dirt sheet commenting on stuff, so I'm guessing you probably watched the show last night. I'm sure you probably spent some kind of money on WWE, so... I'm sure they did. You can join my Kiss kiss My Ass Club as well. <laughs> the Sheen Kiss My Ass Club. I just started, so... At least Star Wells, you can go ahead and kiss my ass, sir. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna cancel my subscription... Ryan McKinn, Crybaby, I guarantee you won't cancel anything. I don't know if he's talking to me. I hope he's not talking to me because I never said I would cancel anything. In fact, I, I'm definitely going to keep it. Oh, hell yeah. I don't know if he's talking to me. I hope he's not because I'm definitely keeping it. Backstage reaction to the w, to the canceled WWE Network trend. we got a couple more things we can talk about here. I mean, i I, I'm, I, I got to get up and go to work, but I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Brian did look legit pissed. Perhaps someone missed her cue and he was supposed to last longer. Who knows? That that could be a point. That's a good point. He may just a be... Of, yeah. yeah, a lot of things could have happened and we'll, we'll probably never find out what really happened, but... Yeah, until you wait for, like, fucking, uh, like, Zack Ryder to get, like, fired and do a horror video shoot or something. Okay. SmackDown will be live on Thursday and... Daniel Bryan versus Kane in a casket match will take place. If Daniel Bryan quits, I blame you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. People That's the second part. You know, I'll... <laughs> I would personally like to thank you fans in Philly and everyone voicing their opinion. Vince thinks we have no choice. Vince thinks we will obey like sheep because fact is the way they treat us and our favorite is exact. I don't understand what the fuck you're saying. Exactly how much they care about us. I, I probably agree with you, but I just can't make out what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> there you go. Shut up, Cena fan. Um, I'm not a Cena fan. I mean, I guess, no, I guess he's talking to the guy above this. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, oh my god. This guy's hilarious. People against Cena. Pac. That's, that's, that's an organization. That's good. I like that. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. The guy accepting new members? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm already pretty much in the club, man. I was, I was born in the club. The second John Cena showed up, I fucking. Well, he's I, accepting new members, so you know. I'm sure, go man. Ahead. Anybody can can join. Yeah, there you go. So there, yeah, he's accepting a lot of comments. Holy shit, man! That's you haven't lot. even gone to. You haven't even gone to Wrestling Inc. where there's 800 and some comments. Uh, I think WrestleZone has about the same though, and then. I know no DQ yeah. a lot of people, but they don't they don't allow comments. Probably fucking smart. Probably. Yeah, yeah. three hundred and sixteen. Yeah, I, I like how uh, I like how no DQ didn't like edit anything that I said that they just like put up. Oh, Philly fan says Daniel Bryan's pissed off. Yeah, you just they just let it roll. They didn't do yeah. shit. <laughs> shit. 
Uh, yeah, shout out to Mike Bessler and uh, Aaron Riff. And I don't, I don't know about Mike Johnson. I don't, I don't know if he, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. This is pretty I'll good. Buy you a hot dog. I'll buy you a hot dog at a uh, house of hardcore. There you go. Good stuff here, Shaheen. Good stuff. Yes, sir. So I wish we could do it again, but you know, unfortunately, Philly's probably been never going to get it like a WWE event again, unless it's a fucking house show. So you guys are going to be lucky to get a, a, a fucking SmackDown. That's what I was going to say, dude. We're not even going to get a fucking SmackDown. So <laughs> you're going to get like, oh look, a house show, or like, or 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 next time they're going to put them in like some like, oh look, we're going to be in a gym. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, the next event is actually a house show. It's like six months from now, so they're definitely not coming back anytime soon. Nice. Now, I tell you what, though, man. If if they go to, like, New York and, or New Jersey, I'm, I'm making that happen. There you go. If, if it's a good show. If it's, like, fucking, like, you know, like, fast lane, then, nah. But, like, SummerSlam, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, I'm there. There you go, man. Do it up. Let's 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 do it, man. Next year in Texas, man. I'm I'll be here. Let's go, man. I'll be here. I ain't planning on leaving until next February or next uh, July. Sorry. Are you actually planning on going though? I'm planning on going to Florida next July. No, I'm talking about WrestleMania, dude. Oh hell yeah! yeah I'm, I'm trying live. to come down. What? I'm trying to come down. I'm trying to make it happen. Oh yeah, I've never been to a live pay per view, let alone WrestleMania. So this is this this is big. Yeah. I'm definitely going to be at this. I don't care where I'm at or what I'm doing. I'm going to be. I'll, I'll be here. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully, I can make it down. If I can make the travel happen and find some dog sitters and take off work and all yeah. that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, we'll I think we've talked enough, man. I think we're going on almost four hours. Oh shit. No, we started after eight. Yeah, but it's still like three and a half hours. Well, nine. Here. No, eight here. Nine there. God, yeah. I better not drink this yeah. last few years till I get home. There you go, man. Well, I don't know. I can, I can stay on longer if you want to. I was just trying to. No, I'm good, man. We I, I think we've gone through enough. Yeah, we've gone through plenty. Yeah, so. we can. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll. Uh, maybe since we did it tonight, we might give you guys another show Saturday or something. We'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll uh, figure something out. Your eyes on the Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash group slash THT podcast. You'll see us there. We'll let you know when we got shows, surprise shows like this one. There you go. Go on uh, thtpodcast.com. All the links are right there. Streaming links, YouTube links, Stitcher, iTunes, fucking Twitter, Facebook, you name it, it's on there. Go to thtpodcast.com. You should be able to find everything. If you want to go on iTunes and subscribe, please do so. Like this. Leave a comment. Be interactive. The more you guys comment and, and fucking share these videos, man, the more we're going to do. You know, let's, let's try to make an impact, man. Let's make it happen. Let's get the noise out there. Let's, let's, let's fucking, you know, do the shit out of these bastards. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Do the shit out of these bastards. Don't boo everybody, but those bastards that they're trying to feed you, boo them. It's good. It's good. Make it happen. That's it. And uh, for the new listeners who don't know, the easiest way to listen, go directly to our uh, website, thtpodcast.com. Hit the listen live. If we are live, you will hear sound right from that page. Um, it's as simple as that. Click that link, click that page, and you're done. There you go, man. And That's once again, I greatly appreciate all the views, man. This is this it's been a crazy twenty four hours. It's pretty much like all over every website. So we're getting a lot of exposure, man. We greatly appreciate it. You know, continue to share it and fucking post it on, on you know, wrestling forums, wherever you think people may be interested. Post it up there, like it. Like I said, go ahead and subscribe and you know, just show support, man. We're gonna do more of these, so it should be fun. There you go. All right, well, we're signing off. Yours truly, Sheen, my main man, Boxman. We'll be back probably Saturday. If not Saturday, we'll see you next Tuesday. There you go. And uh, that's it. See you. See you. Back off, my good man. Time to kick back, take your business, smoke some weed.
out. There we go. 